for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. Time for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. I wish my refund hurry up so I can have a taxitude. Time for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. I'ma be like, let me get 20 on pump three. Time for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. Matter of fact, make it 25, and yes, I would like to donate to the Marge of Dimes, so ring me up that Coke and candy bar, two for two, 22 deal, where one dollar goes to March two. Oh, and ring these Skittles up for my kid too. And when the cashier tells me to have a nice day, I'm gonna be like, no ma'am, you have a blessed day, sugar. Time for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. Pull down my shades like Kim Kardashian, smile like Gabrielle Union. Time for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. Flip my bundles like Nicki Minaj, and queen out the door like Beyonce. Time for a bath, time for a bath, time for a bath, and time for a bath. Goofy face, goofy face, goofy face, heart, 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 muscle, muscle, muscle. Time for a bath, time for a bath. Time for a bath and time for a bath. Sassy black girl, sassy black girl, sassy black girl. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hashtag so what? Hashtag I ain't shame. Hashtag my money. Hashtag call me taxitude, honey. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. Welcome to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, it is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. We've got Ross McCoy here. How you doing, Ross? Hey guys. Hey. What's going on? We got Tony Mungette here. Hey, hey. What up, dirty birdies? Um, we're going to talk about your guys' uh, trip to baby metal. Yeah, uh, yeah. We did a lot. This week. We did a lot of stuff this week. We were. Saw Out Tony Hawk about. last night. Yeah, we saw Tony Hawk, not just wow. in passing. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, um, but, but yeah, we're uh, live on Twitch and YouTube. Like and subscribe. Go to YouTube and subscribe. And uh, you can watch this podcast every Monday through Friday. And obviously, just like this Friday free show. Let me plug a few things real quick. The Sanford Food Truck Fiesta is this Sunday. It is from noon to four. It's back to the uh, original time. Because the weather is nicer. Uh, it, it, I had been promoting 3 to 6 because they changed it during the summer. Uh, but anyway, so that's on Sunday. And then also History After Dark, uh, November 21st. That's your chance to go see the Orange County Regional History Center. I think most for people free. know that our details are scattered. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By now, <laughs> just search the thing in Google. Yeah, all like, the info is right. Like but if, just to be sure, we should go through all the other times that the food truck fiesta isn't. Like, it's not, <laughs> yeah, should we? I it's think we not should. like midnight to one in the morning. No, right. Don't show up then. Yeah, uh, that it, would be it would be bad. Don't do either that. day on either either side of it. Correct. Don't. Also, our uh, free beer fest and uh, the Sanford uh, Sofa Races is happening November 23rd and 24th. Both those events are free. It's the weekend before mm. Thanksgiving, like it always is. So uh, make sure to set your calendars to come out. I can tell you from experience, there's nothing like pushing a couch down the street in Sanford with a wicked beer hangover. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's something. And also, uh, Daniel and I will be at a charity event tomorrow called Cows and Cabs. Which yeah, I, but are you going to are you going to do well, it? Are well, you going to go full full uh, cow? You got to go full cow. I, I thought it was it's a super fancy winter park charity event that I, everybody's been telling me that. Like, then why are they letting cabbies in? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, the cows was just beef and the cabs yeah. was wine, and it was kind of like a play in words. Yeah, like, it's uh, steak and wine. You just walk around and throw money in the air. Steak and wine. But then Daniel told me that everybody does dress like a cowboy. 
And well, no, 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 nah. hold on. I did not say that. <laughs> He's oh. putting more to my mouth than he's making it sound fucking stupid. If that's wrong, let no. him believe it. Yeah. But that's not tell. what I said. No, he's sure. I, I looked look at the picture. But listen to what he said. He's like, everybody's going there and dressed like a clown. That's not what I said. I no. said that it is Western themed. That's what I said. I didn't say everybody there is dressed like a cowboy. That's different. If everybody there is dressed like Roy Rogers, that's completely different. And then if so, if I don't dress like a cowboy, then everybody's yeah. gonna be like, "Oh, you think you're better than us?" Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, hey, we got, I, our, we got a whole stick of the bottom no, here. We got a poo in the to, toilet. He wants to dress like a cowboy. He's been dressing <laughs> like a yeah. like an S and M. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, he, he likes uh, dressing up. Addict. It's you like, you want to get out your uh, you want to get out your Yellowstone fantasies. <laughs> you want to Beth Dutt in your wife's titties. Please I, let him go to this thing in an adult medium Woody <laughs> costume that <laughs> didn't sell at the Hollywood at the Halloween store. <laughs> Uh, anyway, no, but it is. I, I believe it is an actual cowboy themed, and that's why after today, like after the show today, I think I'm gonna, you know, get in my electric horse and ride on down to <laughs> Shepler's and <laughs> see if I can find myself uh, a good, uh, good right shirt. You already, tomorrow. you already have the hat. And I do have a hat. I do have a hat, but I can't wear ripped jeans, right? That's not very cowboy. Well, yeah, I mean, sure, you can rip your jeans on a horse. What about boots? Boots, I feel like is the I don't most, have boots. You gotta go. You gotta get should boots. I get boots? Absolutely. Cheap boots, or should I go all in on big boots? I don't know how cowboy are you. Willing I want to go really cowboy. Yeah, it just depends on on which side of the country cowboy you're in. If you're on this side, you probably steel toes are probably good. Okay. If you're on the other side, the western cowboys, you're talking about more classy. You're classic. Cowboy boots. Where can I get? Where's the quickest place to get a pair of Mexican dancing boots? <laughs> <laughs> the oh, pointy, yeah, the pointies. Yeah. Where you grab the I mean, flea you, market? I'm, I'm, is going to be my first guess. You don't hear a lot about. I'm sure they exist, but you don't hear about the Eastern cowboys at all. Like you know, you never hear about the fastest hand east of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, there had to been some, right? I guess, yeah. Um. So anyway, I want to talk to you guys about your uh, concert experience at Baby Metal. Oh, we may have had a conference. Or five. <laughs> well, it you... may have been the most reckless. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just three reckless men out out for blood. Yeah, well, that's okay. I'm, this is not why I didn't go. I'll tell you that later. Oh, but... by the way, chat room is giving why. me some great <laughs> suggestions to uh, make you uncomfortable as retribution for you skipping baby metal. Mm. Because I had the ability to bring you along. Yeah, you knew you guys did an extra yeah, ticket. We had an extra me. ticket. They're yeah. asking me to go just mustache only, and I, and I think I might do that. Cowboy hat, mustache only, so, sheriff badge. I, I that night was Max's breakdancing night, so I had planned to take him. So that's why I didn't go. Yeah. But also, yeah, you couldn't get anybody else to take it. That would be crazy. <laughs> Literally it, the worst excuse ever. Yeah, and it's <laughs> yeah, good luck to well, always be there, right? Like you don't want to break the system. What is I this? Mean, the like, breakdancing championship? Yeah. Why would you want? Like, no, why would you practice. want mom to take? Just it? practice. Uh, why would we're you talking about practice? To, yeah. Olympics qualifier? <laughs> <laughs> there were Crystal doing something. I guess I could have my mom. Anyway, the uh, you I mean, didn't want to hang with us, bros. The other going. A couple of bros driving around listening to Rogan, jacking each other off. <laughs> uh, the uh, when I heard, going somewhere with Ross, it does open yourself up to confrontation. I like it. I, it's exciting. I, I've been it's listening. Exci- I Ross like it. Is- it's like riding shotgun <laughs> in Indiana Jones's motorcycle. <laughs> you know the side car. You're asking found, for trouble. Yeah, I feel like I'm short round in Indiana Jones's uh, motorcycle. <laughs> You're like grab the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> Break the glass. Uh, they can't arrest all of us. We only had one major vehicular incident. <laughs> well, well, I mean, and we saw well, another one. Yeah, but, yeah. we saw yeah. another one. It, it, do you want the first one? Do you want the first vehicular incident? Okay, <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, because it, it is almost like Ross is looking for it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was there. I was there. Not, not his fault. Two witnesses. Okay, Two witnesses okay. right here. So it's it's like me and my bumbling. It just somehow happens to me over and over. <laughs> it's not uh, none of my doing. You know that's, that's actually not a bad. That's not bad. That's because not bad. after a while, I had to admit to myself <laughs> that I must be causing this. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, do, do you remember like this? I've kind of vaguely, but I don't have a real good handle. Okay, I'm sure so you guys is like. I, I will say though, I'll, I'll, I'll give you props. This is the first time I ever rode in a car with. With Ross here, I will say you're a very he's defensive a great, yeah. driver. He's a great driver. Like you he's are. not you're aggressive. Uh-uh. He's just kind of going with the flow. And you go fast, but you're not. You're just fast and defensive, but you're not aggressive. Yeah, yeah. But I want to so get there. We're uh, driving into Universal. We're going to the normal, like where you go in, and you're going to like the parking garage area. Nah. And we get into that area where it's like 
what is it, like nine lanes, <laughs> yeah. and then all the way to the right, there's like a line of palm trees, like you're in Hollywood or something. It's starting yeah, um, to look very universally there. Yeah. Right when you come through the parking gates and that kind of funnel you down to get you mm-hmm. into the Yeah, lot. and there's a bunch of lines, and people, when they get there, and I feel it because I'm an anxiety guy, I think when you get there, it is the first point in time that sort of looks universally so i think you get excited and you kind of want to like i gotta get in there so people are kind of like they're doing that move where everybody's like like trying to cut Uh so ross you know slows all the way down and stops and then the guy behind him like he Uh like like comes up on you like he's gonna smash into you and then he goes to go around you and then you're like you can go ahead and then he doesn't want to go right yeah like i think i gave him room but eventually you run out of room. Right. There's, you know, the two lanes come together at a certain point. So I, I, I had to go by. So him. this, the man floors it. <laughs> or woman. And, or, or woman. That's true. Thank you. That's that's true. Uh, so the, so you don't have to say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, we're we have a new policy yeah, yeah, yeah. of saying <laughs> anything we want at any time, any uh, words. So they floor it. Doesn't and, matter. And I swear to God, it like the person takes off and fishtails the car. <laughs> Like when you've lost control of your car wow. completely and comes, <laughs> it comes, I mean, five inches yeah. from smashing into one of the huge palm trees. It's like, <laughs> and like re, re, like, you know, fishtails and then it catches back up. They drift in and they're like, Aah! And then they shoot down the exit. Uh, and then we're like, oh, okay, well, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, so that's the first thing we had. Uh, uh, so uh, now I know Ross isn't causing this, but I have to say. <laughs> no, that no, no. It just, it has to be, again, back to, I'm blaming right. on my Orb, thumb. orb. Like I, I, you know, I said the orb, this is some sort of magic. Why does it keep happening to me? But I, over and over, I had to keep telling myself, like, what if we learned this must that be your fault. <laughs> what if we learned that me? there were different practices and there was bumble and rage <laughs> right like what if there were different like uh it's like a different form of mana in like avatar the last airbender you know yeah, yeah. It's he's, a, a, he's a bumble bender yeah, yeah it's sure. a different style but anyway yeah so that was the first one um uh to tom's point i also the first remember my old minivan the first day i got my minivan i took my kids to universal and i got rear-ended in that exact same spot by a guy who just got all excited coming through the gate and like just as we, you, you have to slow down to make that turn in the parking lot. Right. Slow down, and the guy just ran right into me, and then he was mad at me. But I was like, <laughs> hold, on, "Hold on!" So the exact same thing happened. <laughs> lightning! <year> ago. Lightning! <laughs> no, this is this is like 10, 12 years. Oh, ago. This is years ago. Ago. oh my god! But it, it was, was the exact, the exact same date. <laughs> the exact same date. The exact same time. <laughs> it was the exact same kind of thing with the same car <laughs> within twenty five feet on Earth. Wow. The same ish <laughs> thing. Badass. Yeah. Right. That's I, consistent. I, I did. I That's like, awesome. What are the chances? Yeah, that's like having your wallet stolen out of your car. <laughs> now you die. <laughs> <laughs> What are the chances of these things happening? You guys are competing wizards. I'm telling you, I think I figured it out. There's different forms of mana at play here. Mm-hmm. So baby metal. Oh, man. Before we, even that, though, yeah. we go to get our tickets. Yeah, well, we go to get our tickets, we, and we have to go to Will Call to pick up, because I had purchased a table. It wasn't a hookup. They they gave me a break. I'll be honest. They gave me a really good deal. Mm. But I bought, the, I literally bought the first ticket sold to that concert because I. it's one of the only times I've used a connection. It is uh, odd that of all the years of the radio stuff, like I figured out the radio hookup like two months into my yeah. internship. Yeah, I, was yeah, like, uh, I was like, well, they're getting a lot of free shit in here. Yeah. <laughs> immediately, yeah. I was uh, asking everybody as much as possible. Give me that, give me that. And then now to the point, I, it is hard for me to even pay for a ticket yeah. because of so long of free tickets yeah. and trying to get grifts and shit. Well, like LT, if there, she's, she's so awesome. And, and those of those of you that are local have known her on JRR as a both a personality and now working at, um, at, at, uh, Hard, Rock at, at Hard Rock Live. So and they I, were the best seats in the video. Yeah, yes. they, they were. were you got the table. I oh. bought the first table. It was the first ticket sold to that show because I just didn't think I'd ever get to see him again, and I got a great deal on it. So I oh, bought the table. That will play into effect later. Yeah, so mm. I bought the table. <laughs> I, literally, I, I called at 10 a.m. the day they went on sale. The lady even told me, you're the first. These You are the first ticket sold. I go, ah, oh, that's a neat thing to say. You know, like kind of cool. So I bought this table. 
Um, we go to the will call. We get our four tickets. Before we even get to the will call, there's so many people there. And there are like... I haven't seen a show this packed out in a minute. Ten yes. employees out front who are shouting. You immediately walk up and they're all shouting at you. Line forms that way. Line mm -hmm. forms that way. Line forms that way. They're trying to get you to the end of the line. We, we went through this oscillation of like feeling special and feeling not. So like we went up to them and we were able to skip them because we we're going to will call. So we got our will call tickets, and then we went to the guy, and we we're like, "Do we get to skip the line?" And all he's like, "Nope, back in line." <laughs> so like, you know, we're up, we're down, and uh, the line, Dan, how long would you say it was? God, I dude. mean, all told, like a quarter mile, and it, maybe more. And it was like a weird. Zigzag. I think a little more than a quarter mile. If you know it was the, a lot. If you know the geography of City Walk, okay, so like the end point is to get into the Hard Rock. The line started over at the Islands of Adventure gate side. Yeah. It came the whole way across the lagoon to the Universal Studios yeah. side. Yeah. Oh, past the globe? Yeah. Oh, no, right. we're yeah. on the other side oh, yeah, of the globe. We logo. went to the globe. But, yeah, we got to the globe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are on that side. So, yeah, yeah. From, the, from, the, from the island's entrance all the way to the globe. Yeah, yeah. And then you go up to the globe, you turn, you and kind you of wrap follow around the globe. You follow the curbing and you do like a little um, cutout shape too to like incorporate some more people and then from there back to the hard rock and that was the line to get in god damn yeah. what, what's the audience for baby metal like I, I, everybody know. in the everybody. world huge. yeah it's Every, young huge people you know, it's old the metal demo. oh right. yeah it was a wild swing between like us old gray bearded yeah. dudes yeah. yeah and like uh well maybe seen queen threw it off because uh, there was a lot of young ladies there too young ladies but, kids but i think there was a lot of young ladies for baby metal as there well. were some kids um you saw a lot of dudes that and wanted to kidnap baby metal and uh, kill them <laughs> yeah there so were those there guys are there, so the guys that want to like you know do bad things to them. Those we're, guys were all, I was surrounded by those guys. We're kind of skipping ahead, but they incorporate this thing that Dan and uh, Tony taught me about called like a circle mosh pit, where you like yeah. circle in the middle. I'm just yeah. used to the old '90s like rough pit. and tumble mosh yeah, pit. Yeah. You, know, you know the but circle circle pit. It, it mo you mosh like in a general d direction, yeah. and so it all, all kind of stays friendly. in the middle. Yeah. And so like the, your traditional what I would call like '90s mosh guy, like you know. 20 to 30 year old guy wearing suspenders only and just like a little friendly moshing down there too. I want to give uh, I want to give give props to the Hard Rock because uh, even they keep their staff rock and roll themed. We had uh, Jonathan Jonathan Davis from Corn. It looked exactly like <laughs> it. Yeah. It was, yeah. one of the security guys. One of the yeah, security brains. guys. Yeah, it, and then we had the bass player for. He was checking tickets at the door. Yeah, he was I like when people are moshing and then someone's just standing there minding their own. Oh, there was a lot of that. Oh, there then, was so much then, of that. There was a lot. And of then that. someone, yeah. the, the person that's moshing, just kicks backwards into the person's face, and then just like you just kicked a random guy in the face. Yeah. For no, the guy who didn't even. Ask for it. Uh, so, this so, circle mosh kind of had like a towards the stages pressure. So like it's in the middle of the little arena. Yeah. But like everybody between that and the stage was constantly getting pancaked. Just like yeah. constantly oh, okay. getting squished. And I will say from experience, that was a small circle pit. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like out it of control or anything. Yeah, yeah. I've seen some crazier oh God, ones. Yeah. At, at I'm surprised they even let it happen. At I was Hard actually, I was glad yeah. that they let it happen. And the girls yeah. actually called for it. At one point, uh, a Sue metal, Sue metal. So, so baby yeah, she metal. She came out and like, uh, she parted the sea. And... We're not even a baby metal. Oh, we're so <laughs> far away from baby metal. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Back I to the up and down. Right. So we we wait the million mile line. Yeah. We oh get in and our tickets take us to secret uh, oh secret staircase God. that only we can access with our tickets. Yes. So we're okay, back now up. This is, I've never we're had this up. before, dude. Like this, I've bought a lot of seats. I've had a lot of free seats. Yeah. I've had a lot of lows. You know that. We got some looks. I never people. had secret staircase, so we had a secret staircase we, with like a personal lady that when you showed her the ticket, she was like, oh, yes, right to the top. They're expecting you. I'm and like, more importantly, keeping oh, yeah. everybody else out. Yeah. So yeah. we go up to the upper level and we go over to, we figure out right which side bar. we're on. There you go oh. right to this, like a ginormous bar. Tom, these tickets come with special bars. They come with mm -hmm. special bathrooms. Yeah. Like we were, I don't, what, it, 30 steps from the bathroom? 30, maybe. Yeah. maybe Nobody 30 on steps. the floor, millions of people couldn't yeah. access. It was amazing. Five, was so five right. poop holes. <laughs> so we get we figure like, out like clean as hell. You yeah. could go in there. You could go in there and vape. You could go in there and diarrhea. We figure <laughs> out like which grouping of twenty-ish tables we're in, but we don't know which table. So we wait until a guy comes. This is confrontation of the week, by the way. I don't know if you need to. Oh, do you want to? You want to do? <laughs> they love it. Yeah, they yeah, really yeah. do love it. I, I mean, they want. And, 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 and you know what? It's on brand because uh, it's very it's, aggressive. It's, now, before Dude. we start this.
Okay, hold uh, on. I stopped it. I stopped it. <laughs> this is a, a, a little bit of a percentage of the reason. <laughs> that, what are you uh, talking about? That when I heard no, this group no, no, of no, no, uh, no. people were going to baby metal, that I, <laughs> oh, I was so like, ah, I gotta take my son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what uh, do you mean by uh, these people? I, I, think I'll, I'll, I need to help out Spendian <laughs> and the, uh, the rest of the break dancers. I'm, I'm just doing the math. I'm like, this is going to have, be some awkward confrontation what, you don't that like, I'm gonna be You don't like adventure? You don't like adventure? All right. Here we go. Should be a baby metal version of this, man. And the problem is, Daniel will let it happen, and then Tony will just keep his mouth shut. So there's no one what do you mean to calm it, Ross. What do you mean, let it happen? <laughs> there's, there's no one to calm Ross down. Oh, he say, be, like, he's an adult. He doesn't need calming down. I'd say, That's like, insulting. Hey, hey, hey. That is insulting. Before I even tell you what happened, I will tell you that Tony Rage was acting like he wasn't any part of it. That was his reaction. Daniel was staring at it like it was the Super Bowl happening <laughs> two <laughs> inches away he from it. him. He it. was I into it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm there for a good ass time. I'm there for a good ass time. And then uh, I, I knew I was predicting. I was like, <laughs> and, me and, and Tony are going to be embarrassed. And I'm saying things like this. I'm saying things like this that I don't even know if Ross is picking up on, right? Like, you could tell me if you were hearing these, but I was launching little bombs like this. I was like, is that bitch in my seats? Oh, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I, was like, that yeah, yeah. I was like, I paid for these. These are my fucking All seats, right. man. I paid for these <laughs> seats. I'm saying I'm launching little ones like that. So what Little happened? instigators. So we're at table. No instigators. We're at table C, but the tables are not in any way labeled. So we can't figure out which table table C is the issue. So we flag down a hard rock employee. We show him our tickets, and we're like, can you just show us where our, ticket, or where our seat is, please? And so he looks at us, and he kind of looks over, and he looks back at us, and he goes, hold on. <laughs> no, okay. uh, and, and we look over and there's some old red headed bitch. Uh, <laughs> there's, I think it was three people. It was, the, it was three people. I think at the point where this starts, it's three people <sighs> at what turns out to be bitch. our table. Which again is the best table in the place. If it was like yeah. you know if it was why between it was the second best? and third. You, know the best? you went I, through I a bunch first, of, I was the first person to call Ross. So <laughs> okay, we're we just sit at any table. Uh, just the, sit at the table look, look at next to it. Look at this guy. You, don't, all, des- you don't deserve to sit just, at the best just table. Know that you don't deserve to sit. Had, at the you had you been the there? Have you had you been there? It would have not been as good. <laughs> we no, there we you. had you're the perfect space. Like oh my God, you <laughs> sound like Crystal Van. We had like the Crystal perfect Van. spacing between the three of us. We did. We it was really. Perfect. It was amazing. Yeah, actually, it was amazing because the chairs like, are a little big because the they have to make them big for the Brits. Perfect for three. The chairs were a little. The chairs were mm-hmm. for sizable asses. So it turns out there's three people posted up at our table, and okay. so the guy the goes over, haired bitch, and he <laughs> lets them know that that's not their table, but right next to them, the second best table in the house. That's what they're ticketed for. And this takes this gentleman, the, like the guy who worked for the Hard Rock, shout out to him. He was so pro- nice and professional. Oh, they're so pro. And ins- but insistent so because it's all just there on the tickets. And these ladies berated him and were very rude and mm-hmm. brought up a number of factors that had no bearing, at, which including like party sizes of various people. Like they made a big case at one point, like, no, we're going to take this, the best table in the house that Dan waited for and got specifically because we have a party of four and those people over there have a party of three. We, we're just standing over there. These ladies start dragging us into it. Like out of nowhere, they oh. they kind of assume it was us and start dragging us into it. That's what I would have been like. No, no, <laughs> don't. you can have anything you want. I'll suck a dick. No, no, no. I would be telling them, don't rile him up. You don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> He's been training for this his whole life. <laughs> I've heard a story after story of just the same scenario. He has a samurai sword in his trunk. <laughs> he can't wait to yell at someone. <laughs> That's what I think. So these ladies are like oh. they refused to. Well, move. they were they had already been sitting there and drinking drinks. I also for want to while. establish that they had been there for a minute, just sitting and drinking drinks, like enjoying it as if it were their seats. Which kind of makes me think that if we had maybe made the guy outside look at our tickets, we might have been ushered in a little bit earlier. 
I think there's like an outside chance we maybe didn't have to wait in that line. I thought you're so right. too. Those ladies were at our seats and sloshed. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they were way feeling, before we got. They were feeling there. great. Now, <laughs> they were feeling great. Now, with all this being said, uh, if this was me, I would have sat at the second best table <laughs> and then in my head, now, wait a called minute. myself I a will pussy say, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it had to. It, it did have it a little bit more of an ob- obstructed view. We, we saw way better. Yeah, we oh, already missed better, out on. Better. We already missed out on the first guitarist and and that kind of. I didn't understand yes. there was another guy there until yeah. later. Yeah, first guitarist is who I wanted to see. It's fine. Right, right, Second guitarist is amazing. But, interesting. But the point is, is that if we had been over a little bit more. We couldn't even see the it, drummer. It, correct. <laughs> mm-hmm. Correct. And I'm like, no, no, no. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Not going to happen. Absolutely not. And before I even had a chance to do that, it was like having a better person. It was like having a better fighter on the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, well, this guy's better equipped for this. Uh, so, uh, what what'd you do, Ross? <laughs> because I imagine no, he didn't do anything. I right. stood there with Tony Rage, and like Tony Rage turned away and tried to pretend he wasn't there. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Dan stared at it like Trump looking at the sun with uh, <laughs> with, the, uh, with no with, goggles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was holding my Bible up, <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of was mixed between the two. I like I actually I'm, I'll admit it. I kind of giggled like a little girl while it was happening. I was <laughs> just standing it. there, just like giggling with delight, and every time like. Um, they would make a poor case, and the guy would be like, "No, that doesn't matter." I would turn to Dan and go, <laughs> <laughs> but, didn't they, "But didn't they? Didn't they say, <laughs> say something to say, you?" She said something. She got up because uh, because she didn't okay. think we had four right. tickets, and she looked at me in the eye, and she goes, "Well, we have four people," and I said, <laughs> "Well, That's we right. have four tickets too," which is true. Which yeah. is true. We had four Tom tickets. Tom didn't want to come because he didn't I, like <laughs> Exactly. And then you made me hold it up. And then you correct. told me, and then you told me to hold You were like, we have four tickets because the guy that would have ruined this is not here. <laughs> it's a break dancing championship. You're lucky the guy the that would have given you this table isn't here. And he's not here because of this exact situation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a snake eating its tail, ma'am. <laughs> this whole thing was foreseen. <laughs> it could not have uh, not happened it had to have happened so when did you get involved when no you made me hold on you made me hold up the tickets to show her yes. that we had because so tony rage made me hold up two tickets to show the red-haired bitch i'm like you <laughs> red-haired bitch look at these two tickets i mean because you, you gotta think about it. these people are gonna be sitting inches away from us so it's not like it's That's gonna true. just end there you know what i mean like and i didn't want to say that and not back it up like we have four tickets right yeah, whether so it's Tony's just the three like, of us and then tony's like who gives a shit tony's like show them the tickets <laughs> and I'll go, okay, and hey, I show the uh, tickets. It was kind of a case of beside the point, but whatever, we we, we can beat that too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, which also is weird. Is this making because... you a little uncomfortable? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, right. I wouldn't want nothing to do with this. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but it is also weird. Like even if you was just one person, it's like this is the table I paid for. Mm-hmm. Right. I would prefer that was my whole point. And then you, and then that's just hey, how this whole hey, it's that's... how concert works. Like and I you guys know I said this. Had I been given comps. And I was not. Had I been given comps and she paid, I might be willing to be like, ah, God, they gave me free tickets. Sure, take it. It's fine. That's a, well, that's a, that's but they through. didn't. But, I bought these fucking tickets. And again, end of the day, we didn't have to do anything. The Hard Rock took care of it. Yeah, they that moved guy was, them. That guy was great. They well, wiped our table down. Yeah, but but and they the were only, not happy the rest of the night. The <laughs> only accommodation they asked for was like they took one of our chairs. And we were like, okay, yeah. Tom can't make it anyway. So here, take yeah, the chair. It was, it was chair. better that they took it. Yeah. But you see what happened afterwards? Yes. I don't know if so the, just to finish out this the story of this table. Table. Oh. The whole rest of the night, the, the it started with three people at the table. Mm-hmm. They made a huge fuss. Between then and the end of the show, there's an opening act and an end of the sh- you know baby metal and then end of the show. Between when we sorted the table mess out and the end of the show. I'm going to say 18 different people sat at that table. <laughs> so different, including one man who was 7.2 feet tall and took his legs and put them like up against like the railing bracing and pushed the chair all the way back against the guard so that for us to walk to the private bathroom, which again was like so yes. amazing and so good, we had to squeeze between this man's chair and the edge of yeah. like the other and seating. It was like, like it was literally. It barely, I could barely dude, squeeze yeah. my legs through. I had to like get my ass up over his <laughs> chair and put my ass you all across his shoulders to go pee. I, I pushed the guy. <laughs> and then he turned around and he, he he moved forward like an inch. So I kept pushing him. And then one of the staff hey, from goddamn, Hard Rock Ripley's, believe it or not, let that out of here. Goddamn. She came to me and she goes, like, it might be better if you go around all the way around. And I had to like bite my tongue on that one because that shouldn't be I'm literally 
like two feet from the steps. Yeah. See, now all you guys are just pissing a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother anybody. <laughs> this guy wants to put his long legs up. <laughs> they were. I mean, they were. His legs are longer than I am. They were humongous. It's true. And then what was up with the ginormous other guy that sat at the the very very top? The guy he was part of their. Their oh. crew too, wasn't it? Was he? Okay, because that's the guy. I if you look, they, I think they had probably. both. Yeah, yeah, it was. So it was, was the whole night awkward with these people? No, 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 no. no just is going to pee. Well, I, I, will, <laughs> I will say though, I had a couple times when I was trying to chant along with the uh, yeah. with the band, and I elbowed the chair Ooh. off the oh, lady twice, and she turned. She did turn around and give me a look yeah, and a like, oh, shit. Like, You'll be deported soon. Uh so. And then that, yeah, we're almost a baby model, but like po- the popcorn at the Hard Rock, ten out of ten popcorn. Yeah, it is, it is really, really good. Very Dude. fattening, very salty, like super tasty. The pretzel, eh, it's okay, not bad. Slide, opening act, sliders are great. Oh yeah, opening act, scene queen, very good. Scene queen but didn't have a bass player, which bothered me and Tony. And Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like I don't, I don't like a band with no. Uh, that's bass popular player. though. I've seen like especially. In, I've seen it too. I'm not saying. Yeah, it's, it's. I'm not a fan. The kids, the they like the band. They can do anything now. They're like, we can just have a singer and a guitar. So we're good. As a music ignoramus, didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was cute though. She's very cute. Uh, scream queen. and athletic. A lot of knee drops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. Uh, very aggressive towards men. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She's like a lot of cutting boners off. Oh, there was yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and a lot of like, you want to make out? Let me rip your cock off and stick it in your eye. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, a lot of songs <laughs> about uh, band guys. As being pieces of shit yeah. when she has two of them in her band. Yeah. And uh, not a single female in her band. Yeah, she's like, other yeah. than her. <laughs> she's like, you don't like my band, I'll cut your fucking boner yeah. off. Well, I do know a lot of band guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean They're uh, great guys. They're great, they're great guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful guys. Uh, I mean, they're rough around the edges. Uh that's a hard living. Yeah, you know? I'm definitely on her team. And uh did you know who the special <laughs> guest she was that they brought that she brought out? No. I felt like that was her actual boyfriend. Like, boyfriend. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought so too. So it's scene queen, correct? Right? Yeah. Yes. So scene queen brings out this guy to sing with her, and I thought the same thing too. I thought that that was like her actual boyfriend. Nerd but what's boyfriend. weird is that yeah, it was like the band is like kind of like aggressively hot topic gothy like mullets, like yeah. uh, you know, trendy, bleach trendy. Hair. And this Super guy trendy. comes out looking like he's a member of uh, uh, Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> yeah. You know, like did he did he look like like he something yeah, from yeah. like the song, Letter Kenny? He looked like Letter yep. Kenny. It was yep. Barbie and Ken. I thought he was dressed kind of like Kenny. I thought that's what it was. He was he kind of like had slacks and kind of a Ricky shirt, Goals, like a Ricky button up shirt. All right. yeah, but I think he was that was like his version of like. Or, and she calls her thing. I forget. Like it's like. What did she call it? It was like bimbo punk or something like that. It was kind of like a bimbo core. It was like maybe kind of a bimbo core version of Ken is what I thought. Okay. Was all right. So like her all right. All yeah. right. Her version of that song they did for Barbie. So it's kind of like that. But yeah, it's good. And it's Tom, a good night. We're finally to baby metal. <laughs> okay. So but all <laughs> these bands kind of have the theme of something like abnormal. Yes. That tied into different. the alternative, different alternative metal. Alternative. Yeah, yeah, because baby metal is the the three singers are they start with their they start with like Japanese teenage girls. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think even now they're younger. In the 20, I think they, they started, were younger. When they started with uh, the the SG group or whatever. Like, like, they're like eight year old. Oh, eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. they. You know, they they you go into it's almost like a program. It's like a training program, and you go into yeah. it, and then I think they were picked. For a band, and I think at their first single, they were like between like 11 and maybe 14. Yeah. And now they're in their 20s. But I mean, they've made their own genre. They've had multiple albums and multiple hits. So, so Tom, going to this show, we range between, I know a couple of songs. And Dan knows a bit about the band, and like he's seen some stuff online. Yeah. Meanwhile, Tony Rage over here knows full choreography. Oh yeah, for he's singing all it of is, okay. oh, and yeah. he is like doing it, which like, you, yeah. w- which will probably would have made you even more uncomfortable <laughs> because you got to do the fox, yeah. and then you got to like when it's thrashing, you go like. Okay, you were telling me about that. The fox is basically the devil horns, but a variation where you take your thumb and middle fingers. I think the story behind that is that these girls do not know metal. They just got kind of hired to do this. Um, and when they were kind of learning about it, they saw people doing the the devil horns. And they did it this way, uh, for those watching, which it, it resembles a fox. Kind of like a cross and between then, devil horns and an yeah, okay. And then they went and took that and ran with it and made it like a fox 
thing. And that's their gimmick. That's their little thing. Yeah. Okay, all right. So let me tell you, Tom. T- Tony Ray is sitting there doing the Fox. Like <laughs> he's, he's sitting there doing the around. full co- well, choreography was, to this song. It, it is a little when it started when the red lights come on and, the, and it's like June 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 June. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. And everybody's yeah, putting their like, hands okay. up. I mean, it feels very like. No, there like, was an to, energy. Yeah, there's a like, definite we're about to energy. Sacrifice some shit here, man. <laughs> uh, we're about to do some shit. But like halfway into the show, I don't even like I said. I know like a couple songs. It was a song I didn't know, but Tony Roy Rage knew the full choreography. He's doing it, and Baby Metal had a thing. They would like they had three oh, little man. risers up front, and they would like jump up on the risers, do stuff, run back around. They had co- full car- choreography for, for all the songs. Amazing. At one point, the girls like switch risers. This girl jumps onto the riser, looks up at us in like the good seats, and sees Tony Rage doing the same hand this choreography that she's true. doing, and she makes eye contact oh, with him God, and God. like g- gives him a little like double fox. Oh, <laughs> I fox. swear oh, to God, <laughs> and like I saw Tony go yeah, like yeah. he kind of like froze and was like, "Did that happen?" Yeah, yeah, and I slapped yeah. him, and I was like. Tony, she looked at you and yes. gave you a little double fox. And he was like, yeah, yeah, it did happen. He started yeah. I, I, and then I, I, he started and then I got freaking him. I got out. I got a boat. <laughs> no, I got him. I got him. No, 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 no. The table said? did thump I from the bottom. Did yeah. everybody say that? I got, why don't you get her a rose from 7-Eleven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. That I, was I have hilarious. to say, man, I met Tony Hogg yesterday. Not as good. <laughs> yes, I agree. I was getting, I was I agree. The, energy, the energy of looking into like a super young looking Asian woman's eyes. <laughs> it's better. It was better that Tony it was, was cool. more than that though. She, Tony Hawk was cool. He's very nice, but man, uh, does he look old. She, these girls <laughs> these girls look when you like look a at young them, Japanese oh my God, teen. You stare into this girl's <laughs> eyes, like I swear something. to God, it's like looking I mean, at 19, it's like no. moonlight reflecting <laughs> off of porcelain. <laughs> But yeah. she also she looked at him and saw him doing the thing, and yeah. she she wanted to let him know, hey, I see you, and you're yeah, crushing it, dude. Tom, you're crushing. She's it. like, there's okay. like what, like like twelve thousand people there. So many. She picked me. <laughs> she did. For, she did. There was like one, there were fair, thousands of people there, and she gave you the double fox. I think that was a. I, maybe I needed to go backstage and be like, hey, I'm the guy, and then yeah, uh, hey, like, I don't. Do you remember? You fucking like, old men didn't even want to wait in the t-shirt line. You're going backstage now. <laughs> Jesus no, Christ. no, it was too late, it dude. Was I wanted to get a double fox t-shirt. Tom, yeah. these guys were like, we could just also leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I like about. Also, him. Andrea has me trained. Andrea is like forty dollars for a t-shirt because <laughs> she's so goddamn cheap. Yeah, they have to uh, you have to leave before the mass rush of people getting out of there. We're just stuck in the goddamn parking garage. Well, no, I, li- I don't try. I try not to leave early anymore. I stay to the end of concerts well, now. That's what was interesting about it. Like, we, we, we start to walk out, and I feel like the way they had it set up for the merch uh, table, people didn't realize that you could kind of move around. That's when he saw the table. It's like, there's like barely anybody there. And as soon as he said that, that's why people started looking over. I'm like, oh, shit, we can cut through here and get to the table and in minutes it was just uh, people started rushing the yeah, table that actually wasn't the case we kind of walked up behind <laughs> we kind of walked up behind the merch tables and we were like i was like oh i think we can just sneak right in there and get oh, merch yeah. and the guy was like no the merch line starts so far away you can't even see it that's the problem so, yeah and it so, was like yeah. being back in the state that we started I missed that part yeah, yeah yeah and that's so that's why i was like yeah you guys will just leave Hey, thank you guys for going with me. That was we're, super fun. We're not cool. done yet. You got yeah. you forgot the one you reminded me about that What's I it? that I just remembered. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes. Oh so black eye diaper. <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> the parking garage did take forever to exit. Okay. Uh, we we I think there was another near collision on my part. We get out. <laughs> We get to the exit I like where I kind of like sneaking out the back way and going find the interstate like away from all the, the hillbillies or whatever. But like so we go out and we're I think it's Kirkman there. We're, yeah, something like that. We're waiting to talk, turn around to Kirkman, I think. And, um, a cr- you know, it's a big intersection, you know, uh, three or four lanes meeting, three or four lanes meeting, you know, all. It's humongous. Yeah. You know, it's it's big roads. All, it's four way big roads. And uh, we across the intersection, crossing four or five lanes of traffic, we see that. You want to describe him today? It looked like a dumpy looking, uh, like a black guy um, wearing like white pants or a diaper. Yeah, like it, white. Like a thing. white diaper. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> he's, like he's a, wearing a white diaper? Like a white, like, or white shorts and then a sh- like a top, like mm-hmm. a tank top, like a blue tank top. And critically, like to big bulky white headphones. Oh, like yeah. huge white oh, headphones. Yeah. Yep, yep. I mean, maybe matching his bulky white headphones to his bulky white diaper. <laughs> and uh, and he's kind of slow <laughs> shuffling, right? Yeah. yeah. Across the road. And at this point in the night, I'm driving, so I'm tonic water only. Yeah. I'm as sharp as, like, you know, anybody on the street. And I'm doing all the, yeah. you know, I inter- 
intersection drink, maths. You know, that night. I think Tony had one yeah. Heineken or something. Yeah. You know, like, so we're all, and we're sitting there, like it's a like a UFO sighting. We're seeing the white diaper man, and he's walking. He's coming across. And he's, he's slowly walking. And then, and then coming towards, like, in a lane he's going to attempt to cross is this van or whatever. Yeah, it was yeah. a big. And it was the only vehicle coming that, yeah. that There's direction. nobody out on the road. Yeah. It's late. And he's coming at the intersection hard, and the lines meet. If you if you put the lines together, they meet, and they're 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 a ways back from where they're about to meet, and so like headphone guy just keeps cruising like the ghost and yeah. in, in Pac Man <laughs> or does. something. There's like he's steady moving, not a, a not a beat. He doesn't. I don't think he sees what's. I don't think he's aware. No. If he's going one mile an hour, it's one mile an hour straight the whole time, no variation at all. all right, well, yeah. And well, the truck. Th- there is a stereotype about ethnicities, a certain <laughs> types of ethnicities <laughs> oh, crossing the street, <laughs> crossing yeah. the street yeah. slowly. And you feel more comfortable <laughs> talking about this now, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. do. <laughs> and uh, I'll just say, I'm not going to say which ethnicity. Everybody can do their own math on that. That they take their time for crossing a street. Well, this, uh, <laughs> what was so strange is that Ross started with a, oh my God. <laughs> hey, oh, oh my God. Oh my, guys, oh my, and then, <laughs> and then the horde for the van or whatever, like, nah, you hear it, it's just, nah, <laughs> <laughs> You know what it looked he, like? I he always, missed the guy by an inch. By like yeah. like less than an inch, like where you could see the diapers flapping. Yeah, you could <laughs> see we're pretty far away, but but close enough to see him move from the the air of the car that almost obliterated him. And Tom, like literally obliterated him. He didn't even he notice. No, <laughs> he kept going. He didn't even break pace. Same, right? He didn't no, break pace at all. He the, didn't even stop. Like it was like. It was like he was a wind-up toy that yes, had been set. Exactly. And he, and you know what? No stop. variation at all. It reminded me of those videos that you can see on TikTok where you'll have a person standing in a parking lot and you'll see a car coming, 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 and then they'll go through the person and it's like two different videos uh, uh, stitched together. So oh, God. that's what it <laughs> looked like. Or you write a video that's like an obvious fake where it's like, right. hey, oh, look, this guy just barely made it in front of a train. Like, yeah. But it happened right in front of us. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I, I think I, I used to think that like people distracted or headphones. Maybe he was like, I mean, he could have been. Uh, His just, eyes like, were open. Yeah, he oh could have God. just been listening to a podcast. I mean, honestly, it could have been you just running, listening to a podcast. Like, it, <laughs> is he had skin? He had to feel the wind from but, his car. But it was it, so close. The but it was so car. close that I think it, all three of us were like, "Well, that ruined the night." Like, it was like well, we're <laughs> yeah. awake now. Yeah, you it know? was a real it, waker up. Yeah, that was that was not cool. at like eleven thirty p.m. Yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, your heart is just racing. Yeah, I do like it when you narrowly. Ex- Escape certain death and then just go on. Go about <laughs> <laughs> just, you just keep on walking. Do you ever think about that as a high thought to Hardee's or whatever you're going? You're just like, <laughs> oh, dude, like Hardy's, goddamn, you I'll all, fuck with Harvey. Like, think about you almost uh, or and Hardee's. <laughs> your family Harvey's. would be so sad. All the shit they'd have to do. like. You almost died, and then it's another. How many times do you think that's happening? You didn't think about it. At Pirate Spot notice. that time, I gave the guy the Heimlich. It was kind of weird because like I gave that guy the Heimlich. Clearly saved his life, and he walked out, and it was like, all right, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like, what else do you do? Yeah. What else? You just, clean up the puke. You go back, go to, back yeah. to your life. Yeah. Um, so should uh, we take a break? Yeah. Well, we can uh, recap real quick. Uh, last night. Oh yeah, Tony yeah, Hawk. yeah. Let's talk about it. <laughs> it was a great event. Uh, thank you to the Museum of Art, which is really nice establishment. Omar and, rules, man. Orlando Museum of Art is and, is so fun. And I forgot when you uh, when you attend events at really. Uh, high end fancy establishments that everything is top notch. Like oh, yeah. they have food, the beers. They're cutting, I like, the, they're cutting the crust like, off the sandwiches. You know what like, I mean? Like yeah, uh, they're just giving you whatever yeah. drinks you want. Like, Another yeah. ravenous pig IPA, <laughs> Mister Vat. Wait until they see how you treat you when you're dressed like a cowboy. Yeah. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and, next level. And then obviously more steak. <laughs> they uh, they had 75 spots to actually meet uh, Tony Hawk mm-hmm. and then to get a picture with him and then uh, uh, like have the him sign something. And um, and I gave my spot to Tony Mungette because I'm the best friend. I appreciate that. And, <laughs> and I, just so everybody knows. You're uh, the good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, uh, I wouldn't give that up for anything. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. give it to my daughter. So you went to the museum with these guys? How many confrontations <laughs> did you guys have? <laughs> I, uh, ga- I gave my ticket up. We actually a couple. Really? Okay. Uh, to Tony, which then I found he's like, I already met Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, God, I didn't know that. Oh, Grand Prix. Yeah, but yeah, not, Tony's not like, Tony. yeah, 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 y
say if I knew he you already you, at least you for met that half of uh, the duo, <laughs> yeah. then I would have thought twice maybe because yeah. I want to do. You wanted to meet uh, Britton and Hawk. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna meet Tony Hawk and get a picture. Uh, and honestly, I thought that they would just be like, "Ah, right, Tom, come on in and you just get a I picture." I thought they would too. <laughs> that I was, was kind of waiting that. around. Like uh, I was begging on that too. Yeah. They were I'm, like, "Ah, get in here!" And <laughs> yeah. Tony was gonna be like, "Oh, what but, are you, where were you, buddy?" But you were right to get the upgraded tickets because confirmed now media not present. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, a media. Yeah, yeah. Did you see the box thought, for media? The square you were supposed to stand in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Well, because it's it was a, right next to the blue one where they let people beg for change. So I thought there was a chance that I was gonna be able to get. Tony the tickets and still meet Tony Hawk and then the two for one scenario I get the credit from all the listeners I like, thought about letting guy. you have my ticket <laughs> no no I've never let I that I thought happen. about letting you have my no, ticket no because that raises you above me I need to be the most <laughs> generous <laughs> the most, yeah, yeah, the yeah, most yeah, yeah. Uh, charity you're playing God <laughs> you're playing God in this yeah, 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 yeah. I, I need it. to be looked at as like Tom that guy's a good <laughs> guy the movie, <laughs> the movie you'll you're do anything take you your shirt off the back you are the Alec Baldwin of our show the movie you're shooting for is called have your cake and eat it too yeah 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 that's what yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite thing. <laughs> and then, uh, so I was waiting for them to be like, "All Here's right, here's your uh, cake, Tom." <laughs> they're like, "Get Tom in there." Yeah. He waited. He uh, gave Tom, him. Tony's asking for you. <laughs> <laughs> that did not happen. Well, which Tony? Uh, so uh, also, why? Uh, well, Daniel and uh, and Tony he was meeting uh, Tony Hawk in Grant Britain and getting their picture. So you were having a uh, existential crisis about the uh, the actual talk. Yeah. Well, do you want to talk about that? <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, oh, we forgot about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, this guy was having a full yeah, yeah. blown freak out about the talk. Before we get to that, uh, I, Sylvia, uh, the we've interviewed her twice for her awesome. weird job. Sylvia Longmire, she does like a wheelchair blog. Uh, she travels around. Yeah, and she she does a lot of work with the Museum of Art and uh, and. Uh, she, she does, does tours a, there too. She does a lot yeah. of a uh, lot of the tours around there. So we saw her there last night, and I was talking to her uh, when you guys left. Uh, and uh, I, d- I did the move where I talked so much and started telling so many stories that she's like wheeling or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so she's wait, like, what? I have to go and talk to other people. Because so anyway, I, the rocket was made out of cardboard. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Are you familiar think, with Grave Dig she, Hour? She literally <laughs> she showed us. She had the very last spot to go be Tony Hawk, yeah. which would have taken another 30 minutes and she said like well i'm gonna go get in line <laughs> so at the, well i want to do that i can't i it's hard for me to uh take any signals from anybody um it's almost like i'm uh, so uh, concerned about everything that i'm doing <laughs> that i don't know yeah, it's almost like that yeah but anyway so uh there's a point where somebody's like let's get a picture with me and daniel so i want to ask you guys the etiquette. Of we this. both did this. So I don't know much about etiquette of anything. Yeah, uh, I've never taught etiquette growing yeah. up or whatever. Like, and I just do what feels natural. Uh, and if so, it feels good, do it. I'm Tom <laughs> Van. <laughs> and one thing that never felt natural, and I still have a hard time doing, is putting my napkin in my lap. Okay. Why do be, just leave it on the table? I have a hard time. <laughs> Nothing falls on my lap while I'm eating. It rarely happens. I have a hard time wiping my rear end. <laughs> I don't uh, like the no, feeling no. of the hand in the crack. I, I don't like, like it. I like right in the neck with my napkin. I'll go, I'll go right in the neck. Like an old Italian grandma. No, I can't do that. Hey, hey. That's old 1920s. That's how you don't get a meatball in your white beater. Exactly. I did that yesterday for the first time. And I have to say, it is a better way. It's the better way. No, that's just old man. Tony and Ross are going on. More and more adventures. I was eating ramen. Dude. Ramen is messy now. So my it question is, is, is messy. when you take a picture with someone in a wheelchair, do you never bend? yell ew? <laughs> no, no. Do you, Where you bend? Put your napkin? Do you because <laughs> I I do this. I bend down I do to their level. I do like too. I bend down. I, I do thumbs too. up down here. Yeah. But but it. It seems when I'm, while I'm doing it, I'm like, is I this- did it too. I leaned down, but then you know what? I realized I was doing that, and then so when we went to take the second photo, I stood up straight like a soldier, like America. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm like, do you stand straight and stand next to the person, or do you bend down and then the to their level? Was saying yes, CD Sarah says yes. I prefer she, and I believe uh, Sarah's in a wheelchair. Sarah's saying she prefers you bend down. So. That would be, I mean, that's okay. one of the, one of the more factual answers we would get is from someone disabled. So thank you. guy who presumably know, is taking a photography class or two and has come up once. Oh, no classes, no. Yeah, but he's winging it. 
every yeah. time. Uh, but he refuses. I mean, I don't, honestly, I don't know because I obviously you never went in a and never been in a wheelchair. But uh, I would oh, say they want, she doesn't want a dickhead level picture. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. So that I, literally, I was going that there. Totally makes sense. Uh, you'll have crotch. At eye level sometimes. See, the problem is no matter where Tom is in the picture, he's going to be a dickhead. So. <laughs> hey! hey! But it does seem kind of like, I'm go, I'm coming down here with you. Hey, you let know, me like, get down on your level, little because, buddy. Because I do that, yeah, yeah, I do it with kids. So then I feel right. like if I was in a wheelchair, I'd be like, stand up next. I don't need you to well, bow maybe, over. Maybe the correct play is to make the person in the wheelchair stand up. All right, Dad, you get it. All right, brace her back. I'll hold you. I'll, yeah. I'll pick up their legs. I'll hold yeah. you like. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> like Baywatch. The only kind of example I can summer to mind is like anytime you see Professor X, you know, Cyclops is standing behind him. Oh, he's standing, on. but he's behind him. Oh, so no, stand behind like a oh, pushing yeah, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You oh, know that no. that's a great. It is a good question because we yeah. both did it. I noticed it, and I didn't have to do much. So when I stood up like straight, like I was like her same height. Yeah, yeah. you know, like she was. You like I'm a, I'm the average height of a person in a wheelchair. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, the meet and greet ended. I never got to meet Tony Hawk, <laughs> which no. I was I was I told Crystal and my sons I'm like I'm meeting Tony Hawk today. Uh, <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> you'll all see. You'll all see. I'll be Tony Hawk. Then you loaded your sniper rifle. <laughs> and then I did get home. My son's still awake. They're like, what was Tony like? I'm like, didn't meet him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, I gave my ticket to, uh, to the other Tony. They actually did care, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. Oh, wow. They really play the video games. Because of video yeah, games. Like it, yeah, he's no, still it, around. It, it moves the needle. It's the sure. only person. That this, I'm going to say this, and this is going to be mean to like yeah. everybody that's been connected with the show. The only person that ever mattered that we've ever interviewed on this show is, or ever mentioned being related to is Tony Hawk. Because oh, Maisie knew. Like, she was like, you met Tony, and I showed her the picture. She was like, whoa. She's like, mom, mom, get in here. Get, she's like, look, that's dad with Tony Hawk and some guy that looks like dad. Now, we can easily <laughs> bought the three tickets. Uh, you should have. I told you to. Before, to I told you to, Andrea. I told you to, Andrea. You I'll, cheap ass. I was like, no, I told you to. We'll, we'll get two. I'll give mine to Tony so I look like a yeah, hero. Yeah, and then you said, I, I don't care. You're I, like, I don't care as much. You're a baby. I'll <laughs> eat my cake, and then I'll still have it. Do you understand how it doesn't work? Like that. I'm like, I'll let back. you have your like, ticket because I know if I take yours away, no. you'll cry like a baby. <laughs> I I, no, I don't think you look like a hero. I think we're now even. Because I gave your oh. son the best AJR experience of his life. Oh, crazy and careful. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I gave your son the greatest hand job he's <laughs> ever had. <laughs> the, uh, and then I was, I was like, oh, they'll get me in. They'll be like, oh, there's, you know. No, we're need. not just going past what is an AJR experience. <laughs> no, it's a van. It's oh, a is it? Oh, yeah, okay. It's a guy. He's a fan. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then I know it's people. an old man with a van. So then we went to the auditorium to watch him. Him and Grant Britton uh, during their like talk, they basically with uh, well Tony I, before that I will t- report oh, right. uh, which, Grant knew exactly who we were, remembered us, yes. Which, um, and be, then Tony got to talk, and you were joking around with Tony Hawk and Grant Britton, and we like we were making them laugh. I probably have the best photo I can ever have of myself. I got it last night. Uh, we take the photo, just like all three of us standing, you know. Yeah. And I think we're done. You know, I, I I I hate taking people's time, especially people that I admire, right? Yeah. So as I'm about to walk away, Grant goes like, "Wait, hold on," because he, him and I are holding cameras. So he pretends like he, he's taking a photo of Tony. Then I pretend I'm taking a photo of Tony, and Tony pretends that he's like being uh, accosted by like paparazzi Wait, or yeah. whatever. He's like, ah. So I have a photo of Grant, freaking Britain, and myself. Taking photos of Tony and he's pretending that we're paparazzi. You missed a really cool. Moment. <laughs> you got to play a baby game with yes. Tony. Hawk. Yeah, you got to play yes. baby games. They were like, they were like, kind of flirting. It you were great. flirting a little bit with Tony Hawk. Uh, yeah, of course. And you could have called me back. <laughs> you been like, hey, let me get yeah, my friend Tom. Yeah, you just want to come shake your yeah, hand. Just, gonna... What would you have done? What would you have said? You want to role play? <laughs> what would you have said to Tony? Pretend I'm Tony. No, I would ask him about Tony Hawk, the pro skater. Don't have video enough time. Game, Not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, when you walk up there, like for me, like he was like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. And then I had to go fast. So I'm like, hey, Grant, it's Dan from Tom and Dan. He's like, oh, how did, how'd the interview do? Yeah. I go, it was great, man. Thank you so much for doing it. We really appreciate yeah, I it. I would tell Tony I'm friends with Grant Britton. I'm like, we're friends. We know who so yeah, okay. That got me in. Uh, but then I told Tony, I go, hey, love your podcast. That's about all I got to say. That was it. 
So anyway, during the- so Tom, just to be clear, if you had gotten to meet Tony Hawk, you would have said something to him like literally ten billion people have said to him in the last month. <laughs> I like hey man, I like that video I, game you did. I like your video game. Tell me. <laughs> they, they love that. Hey, any, any any codes or tricks to your video game? <laughs> Every time someone uh, tells me, oh yeah, that happened at the goddamn uh, it did Publix the other day. <laughs> we, we walk in give a thumbs up. Uh, we walk in Publix. So, like, still so got some Latin <laughs> guy with like a yard hat walks by and he goes, oh yeah, like that. <laughs> and I get. Thumbs up. And then I look at Tom and I go, I'm so happy it'll never <laughs> die. I'm so happy. So during the uh, the talk and then like Tony Hawk's telling stories, uh, Grant Barrett. They call and it they, a hawk talk. And, and by the way, they, they call it a hawk talk. Daniel knew the moderator who uh, is. Chuck, yeah. yeah. And, and how, every time Daniel knows all Florida. these cool people yeah. that mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm cool. And I'm cool. I'm, cool. Not cool. I'm a little cool daddy. <laughs> I'm just cool. Well, you know what they call Hollywood daddy? They call it. <laughs> Hey, it's Hollywood Danny. <laughs> How do you know so many people? To be fair, the only person out of the three of us who didn't know Chuck was you. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> We're cool. I've known Chuck for years, too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I knew the person, the catering guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew I, knew catering, I knew catering Carl. He <laughs> gave me yeah. a small, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a croquette. <laughs> I do. I got a free croquette. Uh, so anyway, then uh, so the moderators up there, they're having a discussion, and then all of a sudden I hear a baby crying, and then yeah. uh, so and then I'm like, who? Uh, so first of all, I'll say this because sometimes you're in a situation where you get these tickets, uh, like even the the discussion tickets were a hundred bucks. So it's yeah. like not, it's not a cheap ticket, but uh, like sometimes no, that baby you got to get your diaper changed by Tony Hawk package. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe there it was a scenario where this person couldn't find a babysitter and then had to bring their baby, right? Oh, and that man. I excuse because I don't want you to miss this, this special event because you can't find a babysitter and you know whatever. It didn't. It nothing bothers me, and it's fine. They they left with the baby or whatever. But if you voluntarily brought your baby. To a discussion of fifty-year-old men, <laughs> like <laughs> what? Uh, what are you thinking? Well, like if that's the case. Well, where do you stand on that? Like, so you are okay with that? Do you Cause, think? Because well, I'm to. a little bit more on the end of. It was a charity event. It was to raise money for the museum, and people were paying a premium price. No babies make it in. This is a real exclusive no ticket. Yeah. It was very limited numbers. That shouldn't have happened. Did that baby, but did that baby have a ticket is my question. Because like I know <laughs> Probably Halloween not. Horror nah. Nights, you, you can bring babies. a baby if you want to, but that's a per capita. That's a head going into the park, and your baby pays like $65 or whatever the ticket $65 is. $65 for a baby? It, it's the same the as ticket. The scare pass. It's the same as the ticket price is whatever night it is. If you bring a, if you bring a literally like an 11-month-year-old baby in, they're like, oh, we don't recommend it, but okay, you're paying ticket price for that baby. I don't know, <clears throat> and maybe the Museum of Art is cool, and then like, they were again, cool. If they, if the they were person... playing Faith No More at the top of their, like, it was, it was like a cool event. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, was they it were... as good of a playlist as the pre-baby metal? That it, guy was really on it, point. It was actually quite good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the DJ they had at the Museum of Art, which I think it was the first time they've ever done anything like that. It was great. It was really, really good. But it, it, what's in the mindset of a person now? Again, if this is emergency scenario. Scenario and there's no other option. I you no, know, yeah, but no, why no. is the emergency no. that you come to the event? I you saw, see what I'm saying? Like well, that's not I, an emergency. You stay home. But I saw what that ticket cost. If you can afford that ticket, you can afford a babysitter. And if you can afford to go out, and leave with your Ross baby that, alone yeah. with another person. It's it's kind of it's just kind of inconsiderate so, to everybody else. Yes, so that is, is selfish. So let's just say that they they did this on purpose and they brought their baby to I'm Tony Hawk. Ruin everyone's <laughs> night with my baby. <laughs> no, no, but what star scream? I, d- <laughs> Like you're like it's uh Tony Hawk and Grant Britton with a moderator talking about old school skateboarding. What about that? Did you think your baby was gonna like? It's not for the baby. <laughs> for the baby. They, they wanted to go, yeah, and then yeah, they're being selfish. <laughs> and yeah. then they're just like my baby. Well, I don't know. What if yeah. the you try to move the baby and the baby looks you in the eyes and says, "Well, we have four tickets." <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta do it. What do you do? The baby's like, good. "I paid for this ticket, and I'll scream here." <laughs> you so, know the you know when you're going down the street and you have got a wide open street and somebody comes up at a stop sign leading into your street <laughs> and they just blow through the stop sign and you have to stop a little bit to let them go even though you had the right of way this is that's that person in a nutshell like it's all about me I want to go I don't care if everybody's impacted by my baby I'm going to the thing well that guy was wearing a diaper maybe he was a baby <laughs> but they handled it right 
The, the, the lady laughed. But you know, I, you know what I was thinking though, and, the, and it made me laugh because the people handled it so well. I mean, like we've all been through it, except for Tony. You know, we all know what it's like to have a baby in a place that the baby's doing something and yeah. it's starting to make noise, and you're yeah. like, oh shit, oh shit, and you can feel it. And for an anxiety guy like me, it, I can feel it bubbling up. And I'm holding Maisie, and she's about to cry. She's about to cry. This was a weird one because even though the lady got the baby out of the auditorium very quickly, the fact that she was in a fucking museum, you could hear that baby no matter. <laughs> the baby oh was in the greatest place for a baby to cry because it was yeah. a fucking museum. Yeah. So they, I yeah, could hear that they had walked all the way to the front, which is so far away. Perfect. So yeah. far away. And the baby's like, it was like, it was like. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, like, it, it would echo through the whole halls yeah, of the yeah. museum. It's got yeah. perfect acoustics. The acoustics are yeah. phenomenal. So it was weird. How do you feel about? So when I flew to California a few weeks ago, I, I it's a what a five hour flight. I had, I literally was cornered by three babies, like little ones, and they cried, give us your money. They all cried, <laughs> oh. uh, the, like the harmonizing crying the entire time. That's impressive. Well, with with airlines, should have signed them like with, boys and men. <laughs> there's no the baby metal too. Then. If you have to travel, then you have no choice. Yeah, you know, but you're going mm -hmm. to an event. You gotta uh, suck it up. Where you're, you're hearing 50 year old men just have a discussion on stage. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference in my mind. It's like, okay, you have to fly to California. There's no other the, choice. The baby has to go with you. you travel. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, you know, I feel bad for that uh, scenario on the plane. Yeah, I've had one. No other choice. I've only had one of those where the baby screamed yeah. the anyway. entire flight. But you know. The Orlando Museum of Art was uh, pretty awesome. I it, will it be going incredible. back because uh, it's a nice establishment in Orlando. Yes. That uh, This is the first time I've experienced it, and uh, I have to say they do a good job. Yeah, that punk rock exhibit, Dude. too. Tony knows yeah. about that I one. I became a amazing. member. When I went to see Grand Britain, I became a member of the museum, and I've been there a couple times. It's pretty fuck. It, like to think that we have that here in town, and they're they're trying to get like the young, not even young, because I, I was gonna say the younger people that are into punk, but like they're showing you the stuff from like the eighties and the seventies and sixties, which is also bringing us yeah. the forty to fifty year old sure. guys. It's yeah. real. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then you see, not young. we're not young anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Middle aged old men. And then you see what they have planned for the future, and it's as a no. It was a no brainer for me to get. A membership because yeah. like you go there twice and you pay for it already. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, all right, let's take a break. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, the name of the artist, Matt Caddy's name of the song is Palm Trees and Pines. <laughs> we'll be right back with more a mediocre time right after this. And I'm here for it. I like it. That is Sweet Pill with Star Child. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Ross McCoy is here. Woo Tony Mungette's here. Oh, here, guys. <laughs> There you go. Got to give you that. So, uh, the uh, I found out the other day that my uh, brother-in-law Jetson that we talked about, uh, love and, that guy. And Daniel's gonna uh, read off a list of uh, of people. Uh, oh yeah, the that characters. we've characters from the show that uh, someone made on Reddit that's insane, really long, and the the amount of effort someone took to do this yeah, is crazy. It, and it's still getting larger by the minute. So so anyway, he did another hundred mile race, right? The wow. ultra marathon. Damn. And I don't know why I'm so fascinated with this, uh, because it's because you kids like him better than you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like grit. You're well, you're obsessed I, with grit, and it takes massive amounts of grit to to pull this off, right? Yeah, of course. And and but then I tell other people, like uh, in conversation, like oh Jetson, like people that know uh, Jetson, they're like oh he's doing another hundred miler, and they're like God. Their response is usually God. Why would you do that? And then yeah. I'm always surprised well, by like, that. Well, some people like to, you know, like spit in their wife's asshole. <laughs> and I'm like, why would you do that? Yeah, it, well, I but guess. But they're like, I fucking, that's the only way I, I love it, dude. They, they're they like, why would you Problem do Problem is, it? end of a 100 mile race, your mouth is real dry. You can't, <laughs> <laughs> you can't spit that's true. right away. That's true. Oh, Put your butthole is yeah, so dirty. Yeah, that you put a gel pack in there. there. But no, I'm just saying, I think that they, they can't wrap their brain around it, right? Yeah, and like, of course, yeah, because it's it, not for them. So none of their Miami friends have done it. So why would anybody? <laughs> but but then I'm always like, well, why? You know, I, I guess the then it got me thinking because I uh, I start I started like deep diving this. But you like night. this? I mean, you're doing it now, and well, I think that's cool. You found a hobby finally. No, no, but on uh, such a small scale, the the amount of the uh, physical effort and the mental part of just traveling a hundred miles nonstop is insane. But there are a lot of people that do it. Like Fashinio in our yeah. chat room said, I recently signed up for my first marathon. 
marathon in January. Congratulations. Well, a mar- this well, is double five. It, and then you're no, right there. Four times yeah. that. in the yeah. same category. Yeah, yeah. Not you as know. good, though. Not as good. Yeah, yeah they, definitely ranking them, and I'm you're below Jetson. When, when you start, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When you when you get to 100 bucks. So then, but then I started thinking, and uh, tell me if you agree with this. So I, I was like, well, hold on. So if I ask Crystal, uh, and I put her on a lie detector, can you travel 100 miles without stopping? Uh, like, you know, because a lot of times it's not running. Yeah, any speed, because that's all it really is. A lot of times he is walking sometimes. And uh, and so it's just the amount of nonstop. You cannot stop. It takes over 24 hours. Is there like a trail car, though, that'll pick you up if you're like too slow? I, they... No, I'm not sure because the amount of people who do this, it's kind of like this is not the Boston Marathon. Oh, there's only like 30 people that could even know, you know, or 60 which in means, the world. Which means there's like 130 on the trail working the event. So like at some point, they got to shut all that down. Usually they have a trail car that'll like, if you're going and they have a pace, like if you're below a certain pace, car will come and pick you up. These trail ultra marathons, they don't have the money of these giant, uh, like the, the giant races. They die been... on the trail, you die on the trail. <laughs> yeah, so they, this they, is they, more, something weird. So this, like, isn't just, this isn't just about the one. 100 miles like some of yeah. this is just like training yourself to be deprived of sleep yeah. or right i mean like it's more yeah i mean, it, it, I mean it's not just distance obviously I and mean, it's not 100 is, miles around the track you're saying there's yeah, like it's trails I was so like say, elevation where, change yeah, yeah, nasty yeah. terrain yeah you're running through boggy trails. spots yeah yeah, yeah. Well, where bit. is this trail in, somewhere in uh, Colorado, I believe. Okay. Uh, Utah. Oh, wow, yeah. They always do it in the war, the most hot. They're like, if yeah. you do it in the middle of the desert. Uh, yeah, you so, don't you don't see this at like a resort. The middle of Rocky Mountainous Desert. That's where yeah. we want to do this. So I I started thinking if I told Crystal, can you do this? You'd be like, absolutely not. And she, the lie detector would uh, would state that she mm-hmm. is truly believes that. Mm-hmm. And then if I said. Could you do this to save your children? Yeah, and then I she play like, this game a lot too. And then she would say, "Absolutely." <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys play the same game? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, would played. you do this to save your children? Game is this a game we're supposed to be playing with like, our wives? Teach me the for game. For instance, I will get in the shower and be like, "Can I remember every single word? Every single word without flaw to Jingle Bells, or somebody will kill your kid." Oh, like, I love you know, this. Like, I would have played this game. <laughs> I would have played Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Uh-huh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Which one? Oh, it's only one. It's Maisie. Maisie's dead. <laughs> That's so, how you play it? That's a great yeah, game. I like yes. this game. Yeah, ultimate stakes scenarios. Basically. And I'm supposed yeah. to do this in the shower. That's what I do at the okay. most, yeah. So, uh, then, I'm in. <laughs> Write that down. She would say, absolutely, I could. And she would be telling the truth. Right. And, and then so I was like, well, what changed? One, you said, no, there's no way you were telling the truth. And then you said, absolutely, I mean, it's well, just the motivation. The, the reasoning of why you're doing it, I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're just doing it just to... Because you like fitness or whatever, or you're forced as a to do challenge. It. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you have a purpose yeah, to but, save your but, family. But you could fail both times. Yes, it's true. It's not a guarantee it's, of success. It's just a statement. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It is a mentality right. of like one you believed you 100 percent couldn't do it, and one you said 100 percent you can. Oh my god, this so guy's been coming to the top. Never <laughs> stop. Oh my no, god. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no. no. Well, I, it's funny. Are you, I, are you becoming a bit more of an optimist now? No. Uh, <laughs> but that's what that that's what that sounded like. It sounded like you were no. making the case for mind frame. No, because no, no, I'm fine. about to tear everything down. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me <laughs> let me say my dumb bit before you counter. Okay. Right, right. I think you finally come around to which what i've always said which is that scientists have proven that that um fizzy vitamin drink works if you believe it works and so airborne, even, airborne, even yeah. knowing that i just choose to believe it works. when i feel a little sniffle coming on i'll take one and i'll be like this is going to work for me pause mental outlook and attitude can affect outcomes and the real world oh my god was that ram davesy <laughs> that was uh, uh that was that's how andrea is uh, andrea uh, is 100 percent. she's like i'll be like oh, i'm getting sick and she'll be like don't say that i never say that i f- might feel the same way you're feeling right now but i am as healthy as a horse <laughs> Now, what the hell are you talking about? Now, oh, by the way, he did tell me that the bottom of his feet fell off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, was, wait, how and, much? How thick? Well, with uh, like the layer of the yeah. bottom of the pads of his feet, they they just slipped off. He felt them slip off on the dirt. Oh, then, while he was oh, running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, I was like, how, "Well, how long did you have left? Like, you you finished?" He's yeah. like, "Yeah, I only had 13 miles left." 
no big deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute. Did you pick yeah. that exact number of miles I'm about to race <laughs> just to be, uh, bully me? <laughs> I spent the yeah. entire year uh, d- training for 13 miles. Oh, and, oh. and he's like, oh, I've yeah. got 13 left. Uh, no I wrapped that up without the bottom of my feet. No <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Only uh, a pussy baby 13. <laughs> no, n- no big deal. So then, uh, so anyway, uh, I started thinking about like the, uh, the, this whole, uh, how to fucking run, uh, you know, hundred miles. And then I was like the, the physical, uh, like toll that it takes and the mental toll. But then I don't know if I could string together that many podcasts. <laughs> like I would have a hard time downloading and then arranging. And then like, while I'm running, like switching when they go into that dumb credits yeah. thing at the end that nobody listens to. I haven't downloaded enough episodes of dudes on dudes yet. <laughs> and it's good. Uh, I guess I would just have to. I would re-download every episode of the Crab Feast and just have them go. That's in a great order. show. Yeah. Yeah, I think the battery in your phone yeah. would just die. There you go. That's another. Also, one. that you bring up a good uh, running while listening to podcasts is the only time I listen to the co- podcast commercials because I don't want to take the fucking phone out of the pouch. What's your favorite one? What's your favorite commercial? And then I'm like, God damn! You gotta get headphones. So you can like double tap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your do favorite you do one? That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. God pop, damn it! Yeah, What's your favorite one right now? Commercial. Come on. Or the commercial? I'm a better health guy. <laughs> what do you like? I, I, Tony Rage, what do you, oh, excuse me, Moonjet, what do you like? I like uh, uh, the uh, stamps.com. I, I'm a st- yeah. I like stamps. Uh, t- Ross? A, uh, across any media? Yeah. Uh, my new favorite is the phone call that comes in. It, it goes, hello, and yes, and I don't know what it says after that because I know it's starting to say, and yes, I'm a robot, and I just always hung up. All that right, way. that's a good one. I, I listen to one <laughs> sports podcast where a commercial ran for the Trump watches. <laughs> oh, the $100,000 one. Oh. Well, they know their audience. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, he's got watches? I found out those were not Swiss <laughs> made. sell whatever you want. They're not Swiss made. I'm like, I'm doing whatever I want now. <laughs> They're anyway. 100, 100, 100K for those. So, so uh, uh, All time, to be back in February, was running uh, Black History Month. Uh, ads and then their big example of black history you could watch on Tubi was a Tyler Perry movies. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I started to tell myself like what an amazing amount of mental fortitude Jetson has to get through this like he, he's tough as fuck. Can you be too dumb to stop? And so, <laughs> but, but then, I, then I was like wait a minute hold on I have been running uh, for a while now and what happens is like after like the hardest part is the first mile or two miles. Like you're you're in your head about yeah. it. You're like, this sucks. This is horrible. And then like, and then after Ross knows this, I've yes. heard that called the shit shift. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, hey, seriously, you're supposed to sit in it, and once you sit in it, then it just you kind of like meditate into and, it. And then you're like, I can't imagine. Like I got, uh, I'm gonna run ten miles tomorrow. And then the first two is like, uh, your brain tries to talk you out of doing it. Yeah, for like, a little bit. Yeah, that yeah. happens to me on the Peloton. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so then anything strenuous over time, yeah, and your brain will be like, "Stop doing this." Yes, stupid. It, you can walk, but but then <laughs> your brain just switches out because it's lazy and you're yeah. like, "Fuck it." You're just going to this weird, like you're driving, like you know, you're driving and then you forget the where, like all of a sudden you you reach your destination. You highway forgot. hypnosis. Yeah, highway. You, that, there's running hypnosis. Like For I. Sure. Uh, every time I do these long runs, I f- like all of a sudden I snap out of it. I'm like, oh, I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I hypnotize myself and shit my pants. Again. I think I, that's when your brain realizes, you know, oh, he's doing this. I got whatever. that hypno shit. Just kick out the drugs. Make him. This is yes. now kick out the good, feel good drugs. Yes. And, then, and, and uh, yeah, let him keep running. And then you just get into this mm-hmm. repetitive motion, and then all of a sudden, like you just get up into your own head. I start thinking about shit, other things, yeah. like, and then I, and all of a sudden I forgot the last five miles I ran. Yeah. It's just because your brain escapes. I'm not kidding. It is called the shit shift. I'm, uh, there's a trainer yeah. that I, I follow, and, and it is it's a thing where, yeah. It, it, it applies I, in sports even. Like, you get to a point in sports where, like, you're done pushing, but you have to keep pushing, and yeah. I think that's where the shit shift comes from. And, cool. And, and then it reminded me of this ultra marathon running lady This that's, like, one of the best in the world, mm-hmm. and uh, she literally, like, can start hallucinating faster than other Ultra marathoners because eventually oh, after so, a certain amount so of miles, she can get into the state easier. Yes, like oh it, shit. And, and then I was like, well, that's an advantage. That's like, cool. and then yeah. I was like, well, well, now she's like a monk. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're just, all <laughs> now of a sudden, you're using some some Eastern, you know, uh, you know, kata teachings and shit. And, and then this all led me to running a hundred miles. Not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were waiting as for long, they do it. They as do it. as yeah. long as you just keep feeding yourself, your brain yeah, yeah. just takes off. That's the part I don't uh, understand though is that does he have to carry or do people have to bring him little peanut butter jelly sandwiches no he's just like or uncrustables 
So he's like 38 yeah, on there, the there's a, No, there's an article about that. And there was an article about this, uh, I think, this week in sports. They were talking about the number one thing that most, even football players, high, like, level football players in, in college and then college, college athletes eat is Uncrustables. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And it was like a whole thing about, like, yeah, it's, it's just. It's easy to eat. And then uh, you got your protein from. The, did you get protein from peanut, peanut butter? butter? Yeah, yeah, peanut yeah. butter. And I imagine got... that that peanut butter in there is probably like quote unquote peanut butter. It can't have much protein. <laughs> I don't know. But you don't you don't he want that mostly carbs. It's yeah. all carbs. It's and all that's carbs. what he yeah, needs. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. you just need calories, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carbs I switch over to toaster pastries, but I'm in. Yeah, yeah. So, do you know I've never had a fucking uncrustable? What? Really? Never had one. I haven't either. And I never bought my You have a kid. I know, but the idea of it, like what Ross said about the peanut, I love peanut butter so much. Plus. If you Are they gra- I'll try yes. one. If I'll you can't one. be bothered to get out two slices of Wonder Bread <laughs> and a butter Bread. knife for some peanut butter, and I know no. she's Crystal's gonna make you wash off that butter knife and use the same <laughs> yeah. one for the jelly. If you can't be bothered to do that, you don't yeah, deserve I've a peanut butter. I've never had it uncrustable, dude. I'm so weird. I mean, I feel the same way about the popcorn from uh, from uh, Hard Rock. It was it wasn't the same popcorn you can make at home. Right? Hey guys, me and Tony are going to step outside for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to have They're anybody fighting. talk shit about the hard rock popcorn. Hey, no, no, what I'm saying is that the, 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 the popcorn over there was amazing. Yes. And then you can't replicate it at home. No, we that popcorn we could not because I don't think we no. had the oil or like yeah it was that was some good ass popcorn. I make a lot of popcorn. I'm just say I make a lot of popcorn. <laughs> I could do it, but I, mean, I understand what you're saying. You're, you're average human being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it. like it's popcorn. just popcorn. It's a lot of confidence <laughs> in this room today. I like it. Do you want to go through this uh, real quick because we are going to have to take another break? Um, do you want to go through this list of? Of humans that uh, they put on Reddit. This is from Reddit. Yeah, these are the cast of characters. These are characters <laughs> from this sh- this show. Interesting. And just some random person did this. It's a collection of people. They're so good over there. Um, the good folks over I there. Do and like they... the subreddit. It's a good one. Yeah, I mean they're just like they're they're they can critique without being like hyper nasty. And they more than even that, I think they apply a lot of like historical knowledge because I forget a lot of shit. And I've been doing this a very long time, so it's kind of cool to read this. Can There's I, a lot of like, do you, who was that guest that smashed watermelons in the shower? And then somebody was like, Supergirl yeah, Dan or whatever. There's a lot of like, so remember the, yeah. I, I put this in, oh, go ahead. Can I get in there and advertise our sponsor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so add yeah, that yeah, to the yeah, package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump in there. Hey, go here, you pieces of shit. Um, oh, okay. This is in um, this is in alphabetical order. I had chat, I copied it, and then I just had chat GPT put it in order. So. We've got Akeem Woods, a.k.a. gay black orphan, local comedian who moved to California. All right. As Buck, played by nationally touring comedian Tone X, introduced to TND through his friendship with, through their friendship with Monique. So right off the bat, real people and not real people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, some of these are just yeah, random it's all over characters. The place. Um, it's crazy Akeem Woods is made up. But bass yeah. player for Casey and the Sunshine Band. Friend of Tom's <laughs> stepdad, Steve. <laughs> served Tom alcohol at wedding when he was young. Okay, uh, people ben, and references now. Yeah, Ben Bungie. <laughs> owns a bungee plant in Georgia. Person known favorite. for his crazy laugh, won't advertise with the show. Love that. <laughs> Big Tim, tall, overweight, redhead comedian who wears overalls and speaks with a small town Florida accent, calls everybody baby, likely moved recently. In Bob- California, living in a van with his dog, loves it. Yeah, no, yep. okay. Yeah, he's he literally living in a van down by the living, river? He says that. And then he says it's the greatest move. He said he had to get out of yeah. Florida and live homeless in his van. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. He said he's happier than he's ever been. Yes, I'm not kidding. Correct. 100%. Yeah. Uh, Bob Lando, introduced Supergirl Jen yeah. to the show. Brendan O'Connor, uh, you know who he is. Carol Dennis, you know who she is. Caesar, Dan's original West Highland Terrier, passed away a couple years ago. Chef Pat, Chris Rock, a British character, also referred to as Pedo Chris from early <laughs> movies. Did you remember his name was Chris Rock? There, do you remember that he pretended to be British for a long time? Yeah, I do. I do, yeah. There, no, there, he was British. He there was, was, he was. Yeah, yeah, he was British. He, there, his mom was British. There was some weird uh, stopping point in, in our just uh, culture of America that all of a sudden they people were like, no more pedophile groups. Because remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody it was laughing from, at it, it. It was funny. And then, every, and then we got out and, like, and he was like, he was like, pretending to be British. He's like, it was good. She said she was 17. But, I, you know, it was like one of those kind but of things. everybody so was laughing. And everybody was like, oh. there, and then every- one day and then we, we come <laughs> into the office and we're like, "You want to do the show?" It was a hard like, stop. Yeah, and people are like, "Dear Tom and Dad, <laughs> if you even fucking mention this pedophile character or even make light of it, your days are numbered. Goodbye." <laughs> That's what it felt like, right? <laughs> I remember that day for me personally. Yeah, it was that beach event, and I was like cleaning up the um. 
uh, banners we had hanging up, and he was following me around, screaming at the top of his lungs, "Give me a weed candy, Ross! I know you got it. <laughs> Give me a weed candy." That would, that would drive me crazy. Was, I'm sorry. That was All it. right. Line in you the, know what? The literal That's line in the sand. That's deserved. Mm-hmm. That's deserved. Yeah. The line in the sand for me was when he was yelling at you. Or yeah, and then we kicked him out of the Johnnies, and then he cried. Oh, and then man. I was like, "Well, this has got to end in incident." No, 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 she was still a, a character, but, but he then, faded away. But people were like, "No, it's more our mentioning- fault." I blame us. We made the cartoon. <laughs> we're like, "Make a cartoon." They love it. We make the cartoon. That they hate it. Pull the cartoon. <laughs> they're making light of. Yeah. Uh, uh, and in the case of that one Johnny's event, maybe don't give the cartoon unlimited shots of whiskey. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Chris Streamer did a segment on ACT about uh, what to stream was a fun addition as an out of state medium at the time. Concrete Mike, Craig from Pyro Spot, Crystal's mom lives near Tom, has three birds, and is very kind hearted. Four birds. Someone said, four. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll she make, got some new, we'll make a, a new one with no feathers. Uh, we have Dan. Oh, so on <laughs> average, three birds. <laughs> uh, David Jolly, friend of D-Rog, was a local comedian, now based in Austin. Dirty Jim, original member of Monsters, often jokes about with Daniel, but is a central figure in station history. Drew Garabo, uh, EJ, former college football player for Miami, longtime show presence, beat Tom in a swim race in 2024, has pre-diabetes. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's what it says. I didn't say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to get mad, but you saved it at the yeah, end. It's, no, I didn't write this. Uh, Again, I did not write this. Fernando, Miami friend of Tom's, received his nickname during a Miami Friends cast. Uh, Chat GPT will not say rapist. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Indian girl with frog pajamas, a muse for Tony Hawk pro skater bit. Jana Banana, friend of the show. <laughs> That's what on- I was going to tell Tony about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jana Banana Jetson, half brother of Crystal, based in Colorado, a triathlete and inspiration for Tom and Crystal. John Bustegger, chief marketing officer at a law firm, longtime guest and Phoebus. voice or voice of Orlando, <laughs> wrote a book on things to do. He was doing sound check for a uh, uh, baby metal. Uh, yeah, uh, Kenny the pervert. We've got Lee on here. Lena the dog. Logic band. Andy. Mama van. Mike B. Mike Busey. Pudge. Raj. Uh, Raj. Former vocal show supporter. Owned hotel. Raj. Oh, they, they messed up Roop. Yeah. Roop. 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 Raj. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are racist. It's not Raj. <laughs> They're like, Roop, <laughs> Raj, 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 Romo. It's up, dude. <laughs> Turban Joe. I don't know. <laughs> Worst mistake I ever made. Roop wanted to hire me, and I said, no, I'm going to do this podcast thing. <laughs> Worst mistake Roop. I ever made. All right, we got Rebby. We, we all make mistakes. Yeah. Uh, Sam, a uh, longtime producer, former intern, I, left in 2024 to pursue I other mean, ventures. I gave my opportunity to meet Tony Hawk. Are <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, you going to shut up about it? <laughs> Oh my God, this guy. Just he's still bad. not as good as did baby you, metal double Did fox, you right? know that he was going to yeah. hold this against you for the rest of your life? No, no like, you know you're indebted with the whole I, Tony Hawk thing. I would have said, I'm staying here with the ceviche. I'll finish up. Scott York, Sean uh, Lawson. Uh, Sean Lawson? You mean the Sean Wasson? Uh, Seth Petrozelli, Supergirl, Jen, Tactical Hat, Tiffany Martin, The Browns, The Eagle, The Wizard, Tom's Dad, Tom's Pop Pop, Tony Palmiotti, Travis, and Tuttle. There you go. And can There's I just explain to Tom, the only worse thing than... You you saying you gave the ticket away with the intent? That's the only that's the only way to ruin it. You've now <laughs> yeah. taken yourself from the top, having the cake and eating it too. Now you don't even have cake. Yeah. You didn't even get to touch the cake. I love going from top to bottom, <laughs> <laughs> front to back, yeah. all of it. <laughs> um, also, what about uh, uh, business baby that wasn't on there? Oh, A business yeah. bro? They don't. Care. I mean, what about the two <laughs> people like, that are sitting here? <laughs> you were on there. No, I wasn't. You weren't on there. No. Okay, we'll Brendan put you on O'Connor. There. He was on there. Was yeah, he was yeah. on there. You don't listen. To him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I was uh, during the bees. I was looking forward for some brown Trump love, but I brown Trump. Oh, brown I Trump guess. is brown Bring Trump yeah. here? Is he here? When you said characters, there were like three names I thought of right off the bat that oh, like, didn't oh, even okay. make. Kratom yeah. Carey. Kratom Carey. Dave yeah. Ramsey. I mean yeah, Ray, yeah. Ram Davesy. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> brown <laughs> Trump. Oh, he's here. Brown Trump is here. Well, 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 guess who's back? <laughs> back <laughs> again, baby. <laughs> okay, Come on, they, uh, oh, he here. jumped out the window. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> They're in, uh, Petey the intern? <laughs> oh, no, Skippy. no. Oh, oh, Skippy? Or... That, that has not been aired yet. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, gonna, <laughs> I forgot about that one. You need, to bring, you need to bring this up with Tom has been doing bad prop. He's trying to sell the prop before it's ripe. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I forgot we uh, shelved that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Hold on. This is the perfect time for this. Hold on. I did no, a, come I did on. A, I did a song for Mr. Snarts. I haven't added his parts in yet, but... 
By the way, uh, Daniel had this puppet uh, sitting next to him, and we had a client meeting coming here. And then, uh, <laughs> and then Daniel started telling the hey, client man. about his puppet. I'm like, don't tell him. <laughs> I like to eat so much pussy, man. Oh yeah, pussy. What's your name, sir? My name is Mr. Snarts, man. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Snarts? I eat it good. <laughs> Hold on, Mr. let me play the song. Hold on, let me play the song. Ross, hold on. Here's the Mr. Because I want to play with Mr. Snarts. He yeah. seems like a lot of fun. Here's nah, the Mr. I have a Mr. Snarts song. Hold on. I got to find it. It's just a, it, it was the beginning. Oh, here, here. It's really, it's, a, I like, I, I was trying to do funk because I'm trying to lear, learn different genres. He looks like a funky little guy, too. Yeah, this yeah. is funk. Here we go. Who's that motherfucker down the block? Mr. Snarts. Mr. Snarts. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Everybody looking at him while he walks. Mr. Snarts. Oh, yeah. Mr. Snarts. That's me, man. No, come on. The ladies all love them and the men do too. Mr. Snark. Mr. Snark. Mr. Snark. That's me. And we all know what he wants to do. Eat that pussy. <laughs> I eat that pussy, man. Eat that come on. Pussy. Eat that pussy. Eat that pussy. <laughs> eat that pussy. <laughs> eat that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> What if the person that I met last night that I was hey, trying to hey. make a deal? They it's almost done. It's <laughs> almost done. Hold on, I'm gonna seal the deal. It's art, man. Who's that motherfucker <laughs> down the block, Mr. Snorts? Mm. Mr. Snorts. There you go. There's the Mr. Snorts song. Where's that? I'm gonna check out this show. Don't this take, guy's I want to talk to Mr. Snorts. <laughs> I, I'm out I of can't breath. talk to Mr. Snorts. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I have so many questions. Does the, the, the pussy just gets in his beard? Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. oh, How, <laughs> what? What? What exactly? He doesn't have a tongue. What's he doing? <laughs> like, what's he doing down there? I have so many questions. He doesn't have. He does have fingers. I don't like using my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I just like using my lips. That's why you do it sideways, right? <laughs> this could be the new stand set. <laughs> Turtle it. <laughs> when you do it sideways, <laughs> your tongue gets tired. And then that thing that holds your tongue to the bottom the, of your mouth, the frenulum. That thing stretches out and gets all uh, sore. Yes. For days. Yes, that's what we deal with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just use my lips. <laughs> so. <laughs> the equivalent, it's like, so it's like saying, uh, hey, I'm going to get the finger in, and it's all knuckles. It's just like knuckles <laughs> rubbing the outside. No, come on. It's yeah. ridiculous. He said he no. just used his lips. So now yeah. I picture you just going down. You're like, <laughs> 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 it's fat. <laughs> He's like, what? Like, it's like, from a banjo. The one, the two. Stop. <laughs> All right. We're gonna take All a break. Right. Yeah, it's we'll like break. scissoring, <laughs> but you, yeah, you just mash it. Tongue's right there. <laughs> it's like scissoring, but you <laughs> smash it. No, no, I've seen it. They just like you mash the lips. <laughs> you and Ross are killing me today. You're just bumping lips. <laughs> no, stop. Don't say bumping lips. All right. The name of the band is uh, Odd Marshall. Who woke up today thinking that Tom Van and Mr. Snart both eat pussy the same way? <laughs> yeah. They eat it the same the way. The same way. That's yeah, crazy. The same guy. Maybe you are. Mr. Yeah, the name of the song is Lucky Dragon. I, I, I also have a dry felt mouth. <laughs> we'll be right back. If you want to call in for the last segment, one eight four four T O M N D A N. We'll be back. Back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Ross McCoy is here. Tony Monjet is here. Welcome back to the show. So for Sofa and Suds, all the sofa teams are now filled. But the recliner division still has open spots. So mm -hmm. if any, if you want to uh, take a recliner, basically put wheels on it and enter uh, for the recliner division races, you could put your business name on it. You know, you need two yeah. people. Dress it up any way you want, right? Ba basically, you push it, and then after, do we do? Was it half the course? Then uh, you switch. They recline the thing, and then you switch, yeah. and the other person pushes it. I know anyway. Brown Trump, before you guys kicked him out, he was talking a lot about how you cannot op enter a couch into the recliner division because there's an unfair advantage in size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is uh, just yeah. recliner. A lot of people got a couch, don't have a recliner. They would think, oh, I'll just enter my couch into the recliner division. You cannot. It. Unfair <laughs> yeah, advantage in size. Just, you know. Yeah, they, all these uh, recliners coming in here, taking the couch's jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we got uh, a phone call. Hey, who's this? They're eating the pillows. Huh? <laughs> Who's this? Hi, Thanks. Tom and Dan. Hey, what's going uh, on? What's going on, man? Who is this? Uh, 
My name is Tyler. You you guys call me the historian typically. Yeah. Oh. Well, would you um, rather be called Tyler? Because I don't want to be disrespectful. Would you rather us just call you Tyler? No. No, no. I I don't I don't mind. I I enjoy having a title on the show. It makes me feel special. But you are you special. Know, well, there I'm are glad. people that are a lot more. No, you no, you are special, and just keep in mind that we tell you that so you don't look up our addresses and kill. <laughs> Personally, you ruined it for me. I'm calling you Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> I once someone once I learned someone by their radio name, I cannot call them anything else. Yeah. Like, I do. This I know, drunkie. But <laughs> 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 well, that's why I don't get mad when someone Kame. does that to me. All right. Because yeah, if you, you learn someone as something first, yeah. that's it. Always, like, I do. And that's why, that's why I never took a radio name. <laughs> that's why you always call Sean Watson Clitty Clitty Bang. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name. And I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. What's on your mind? What's on your mind, historian? Um, I I had a bit of a moment of public anger, and I I was just going to tell the story quickly um also to ross you are the reason i started listening um and i i really do enjoy you having having you on the show so all right thanks tyler that, that being said i'll let you borrow confrontation of the week <laughs> hold, on, hold, hold on ross is the reason you started listening to this show yeah yeah because the first episode i ever heard was the rat house episode and uh, him screaming and stuff just Made me laugh. Sold so, it. Uh, his rat anger. His <laughs> rat anger yeah. sold it. It was your butt there. They're, they're, they're like, this guy is being driven crazy by this piece of shit neighbor and his disgusting, filthy house. And it's oh. ruining his life. It's literally tearing his family apart. And that's that's the show for me. <laughs> you know what? Those were some pretty funny shows. People I mean, like we, tragic. You had to laugh at it, right? Because it was what? pretty fucking sad. He's back as a historian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You're back. You're back. <laughs> Um, I, I got into a fight with a Taco Bell worker, and I'm not proud of it. But I was just going to tell the story love quickly. Taco oh Bell. my god! Um, I love Taco Bell. Yeah. What do you think of the new? Um, <laughs> what do you think of the new? Uh, what is it? Errors menu, or it's like in the '90s menu? They brought back the yeah tostada. The Aryan menu. They brought. They have an Aryan menu. They brought I, I'm back. Not a, <laughs> it's the I'm not, not a big fast food person in general, but the uh, the Cantina chicken bowl for eight bucks is a pretty hard. To beat deal right now when it comes to maybe an eight dollar cantina chicken eating. bowl. You know, I gotta agree with you on that. But I got a tostada. Yeah, me and Maisie love it. We're Taco Bell. Me and May are Taco Bell for life. They brought back the '90s gordita. They did, and I, I had one for you. And I got to report back to you. They're fucking great, dude. The regular gordita way better than the crunch. You were right. Well, you were right. Oh, that's true. Because I didn't get to meet Tony Hawk, I got drunk and then ate four gorditas. <laughs> 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 and then. Uh, <laughs> And then I had to, uh, <laughs> Wait, for, Was that when you like, the, no, Is that when you silently went in there for about an hour this morning? Crystal said I farted so bad in the middle of the night that she had to sleep in Tom's room. <laughs> you <laughs> you coordinated your wife. Anyway, <laughs> please tell me when you came home and Tommy asked, asked you how it was meeting Tony Ta Hawk. You just said, I got drunk and ate four coordinators. <laughs> <laughs> so, historian, <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you to start fighting yeah. with some Tom. Taco Bell employee. What'd you do? It kind of throw, you throw a cash register at some black lady? Because you don't match the no, stereotype no. in my head of the fighting with the Taco Bell employees that I see on. Don't fight the people. That's a hard job. I am a I am a five seven white male. The person I was fighting with was probably like a six foot two white guy that would have definitely kicked my ass if I had I gone in there. Uh, but I just want to give you the scenario, and you guys tell me what you would have done. Okay. Was, okay. All right, we're good at um, I got a canteen of chicken bowl on the app, and I got, like, a free chips and cheese. It's just, like, the I love chips tortilla and cheese. chips inside yeah, me and cheese. Me and Maisie love chips and so, cheese. Little yellow cup I, of cheese. Yeah, it's just a little yellow sodium yes, cup, yeah. and yeah. then you dip your sodium chips in your sodium cup. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I... I, I, I live in upstate New York, and there's, like, a Taco Bell that's been here forever. So the parking lot in the old Taco Bells, the parking lot backs into where the drive through line goes. So if the drive through line is full, you can't, like, park and get out and go into the restaurant because you'll have to wait for the line to, like, move for you to be able to back out of your parking space. It's, like, a super tiny, compact location. I've Correct. seen this So movie. I yeah. waited in – and if you get in line, you can't. if someone gets behind you, you cannot get out of it. So unfortunately, I got stuck waiting like 30, I think it was like 35 minutes in a drive through line for food I had already ordered and paid for through the app. So I had to sit and wait. You know, it was like, you know, 12, uh, 10 bucks or something with tax. And I finally get up, 
he hands me my food, and and I'm just a, I look in the bag and it's just the bowl, and I go, hey, can I just get that uh, chips and cheese? Um, I had it on my order. He checks. He goes, well, I have a line to move, so you're going to have to come inside to get it. That's what he says to me. First interaction. So you with pull your person. gun out. You got to pull your gun out. <laughs> That's what I do. I, go, I, I reach in the back, and I don't even go handgun. I go long ooh, gun. I go we, long rifle. Can we play what Ross would do at this point? Can I like can well, I self insert for one second? Yeah. No, I would if the guy if the guy said if I waited that long. Order comes out, it's incomplete, and I ask for him to complete my order, and he gives me guff, and specifically about moving the line. God, that's I a would, good word, guff. I would visibly and like with much malice put my car into park and say, well, good luck moving the fucking line <laughs> oh, oh, until I get my goddamn fold your, hold on, I little show yellow your cup of cheese. I want to show your hands. you got to fold your hands over <laughs> your knee like that. Look at that. I would take my hands completely yeah. out of play in the operation of my vehicle and let yeah. him know that he, his line would not be <laughs> yeah, moving. Yeah. You're, you're putting your one, hands up like... Not one inch yeah. further until I got game, my fucking chips. You want to play the... No, I, see, at that point, you know you're not going to be eating that food because that guy is going to do something I'm to it. Absolutely no, no, not going to eat that cheese, but I'm going to get it. It's come with a full line in your drive. That cheese is going to be tampered with, and I'm not going to eat it, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it from this I don't think people come in your tacos because it's too hard to get uh, It's too hard to ejaculate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It takes too long. It takes too yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you're, uh, <laughs> you're not it's horny. It's a lot of pressure with the beeping. And the, yeah, you're not yeah. horny. You know, the guy's yelling at you. I'm like, hold on a second. I'm coming in your tacos. <laughs> yeah, you're <tight. laughs> you know? it's hard. Stop yelling at me. I can't get a boner to <laughs> talk, jack off of your tacos. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, first it's of all, like what are all you, you just say thank you? And try to <laughs> no, the, oh, the, the theme of today's show, <laughs> the theme no, of today's dude. show is to grow a fucking pair uh -huh. and not be a fucking doormat uh -huh. for these goddamn. Uh, Hold on, historian. People. Just uh, let's take a pause real quick. There was a. I was feeling crazy. I like yelling. There was a certain uh, period of time in this society that we live in where you had to look at fast food places, and, and we're living in it right now. I think it was like basically after the pandemic or whatever. Uh, like I, I look at all fast food. Oh, they're terrible. And I'm like, I've told you that it's amazing yeah. that we're still able to do this. It's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, they're Cause, all bad because no one wants to work he these places. They're still cheap. It's a. It, I went to a Taco Bell one time with Crystal, I, and then we were like, "Hello, <laughs> like we're this is in my like haunted house." I thought, and, and then uh, the person that came Hello? on the speaker, they're like, they're like, "Hey," <laughs> and then there are people laughing. <laughs> There's a, hey, what the fuck you want? <laughs> there were people laughing in the background, like they were all smoking weed in the place. Uh -huh. Like, and then we saw someone yeah. run. Did <laughs> Crystal do the Kara thing? She's like, I. I see you inside there. <laughs> no, I don't see shit, bitch. <laughs> we saw the people run inside the employees when we pulled up, and they were they were like, "Hey!" And then they, they were smoking weed out. And then they were yeah. laughing. That's what back. everybody should do if you work at Taco Bell. You'd be smoking weed outside. Yeah. Crystal, yes. Crystal was like, "Hello, <laughs> I saw <laughs> you. I can smell your marijuana cigarettes, and I'm and here. I'm, and, I'm, and then I'm, like, I'm hey, here for the '90s menu, and I'm I will like, not leave until I have two tostadas." And I'm like, "Just drive away. This is our fault." <laughs> and so we drove away. I'm not driving away. I'm no. going to make a point. No. Citizens arrest. We, Hello. It, Citizens arrest in there. If anything <laughs> bad happens at fast food restaurants, it is your fault. It is the customer's fault. That's it. Go ahead. Yeah, story. I I I agree with the social contract you're mentioning, Tom, to a point. I just draw the line. I just got to get what I paid for. You can treat me like shit. No, that was you free. Be, no, know, that was free. Miserable. Hold on, Historia, that was free. You didn't no, pay no, for that. You no, didn't no, pay no. for that. But no. he had to eat a lot of chicken bowls but to get that. the reason I did... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, that that was what my order was. I just want my order. I just, you know, call me names, make fun of me. Do what you want. That's fine. I, I love it. I think it's hilarious. Give me what the ticket um, I've worked... You just get what you get. You drive away. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what. No, no, I, I mean, you guys know me well enough to know that I've got to get my fucking cheese. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I'll get my no, cheese. No, you drive away and you it's say, this is my food. <laughs> you don't even eat your food. <laughs> no, no, no. You eat whatever they give you. You give the man that's giving you your food, you give him money, and you go, I'm sorry <laughs> that I inconvenienced you. Here's $10 for your trouble. Here's where I dug I dug my heels in. I'll tell you quickly. Uh, I, go, I thought he misheard me because to have me pull around and park and go, I'd be there another half an hour. So I thought, I go, oh, no, no, man, not um, anything to make just the chips and cheese. Like, it's 
it's something you don't have to make it or heat it up. It literally is just there. You can just hand it to me. Did you so have your hand under your gun? You should have had your hand under your gun. No gun, no gun. Damn. And he goes, listen, buddy, mm. I've got a line to move. You're going to have to come around. And that's when I said, oh, no, I'm going to sit right here until you give me what I paid yeah. for. Or well, that's like, what you what say. I uh, I well that's, when you, that's when you say, I've got nine millimeters. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you know, you got to think of something crazy. You got to think, I'll give you nine reasons. You Hold think on. Of something no, cool to say. no, you have to be subtle about it. I his life. You put your you car. Did. You, you threatened his life. life. No, 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 historian. Yes, uh, yes you're on. on the right track. You're like, I'll fucking kill you for this chips and cheese. I'm the fucking historian. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. He okay. This is why. All right. So he begrudgingly goes back, gets the chips and cheese. But here, to be I put the head of my dick, dick in. Or, <laughs> <laughs> no, he scooped the cheese directly into the bag of chips. Which I did not realize until I, in my 2013 Corolla with cloth seats, I pulled it across my body and put it down and see nacho cheese on the middle console of my car in oh, my oh, 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 dude. fuck. I'd get and my gun. Dog 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 knows me. Yeah, I don't <laughs> have guns, but if I did, I'd shotgun the whole place up. <laughs> gah, gah, gah. You don't fuck up the interior I, of my I car, man. I'd be blasting the no. chandeliers out. This is your Blast fault. Blast the menu. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a this is another sign of the continuing breakdown of society because this is happening all over the place. Uh, uh, there's a uh, yes. there's a sandwich place that does like a little bit of um like vinegar and oil on your sandwich, and they have a name for it. They call it they say they call it the cup, right? Oh. We put the cup on your thing, and I asked for the cup to go. You can talk about it. It's okay, the juice, it's Jimmy right? and they call it the yeah. juice. It they says on the thing, the your sandwich comes with juice. I went and got a sandwich the other day, and I said, hey, can I get juice on the side? Which is so fucking standard because it doesn't travel super well with the juice on it. It gets the red wet. So standard. They usually even keep a couple of them like ready right there. I said, can I get the juice on the side? And the lady was like, what do you mean? And I was like, the thing on the menu that you, you advertised that I, like an Italian. I, I think I said, I want the fucking juice on the said, side. So can I get the juice on the side? And she's like, well, okay. And then she got like the, and when I got home, she'd given me like an inch and a half of fucking oil and a splash of, uh, and I'm like. Drive back. My dad went. You I know how many times my dad went back and forth between hungry. Wendy's? Okay. My dad went to a Wendy's one time five times to get his burger but right. But there's God. a breakdown in society where people can't do the thing that's on the menu anymore. That's like. Yeah. Everybody needs to yeah. listen up. This is all of society's fault <laughs> because the fast food workers told us all, they're like, we need to get paid more for doing this horrible, oh, yeah. this yeah. job is so horrible. It's a shitty job. You have to pay us more. And society's like, What? How dare I you? I want my juice on the side, you bitch. Yeah, you're like, you want $15 an hour? What is this? You work at the Taj Mahal? And, and people think that bringing back manufacturing jobs is going to solve everything when people can fucking put a and, juice on the side. And then we all refuse to Welcome pay them. Welcome back to five old men, or four old men, rather. <laughs> what? But we refuse to pay them the $15, and this is what we get now. See, this is our fault. This is society's fault. We should blame ourselves and we and then move on. I mean, this guy, you're, you're, you're going too far. This guy just wanted his juice on the side. <laughs> and, like, in my defense, only because, like, I feel like. I just wanted my not to see this. Yeah, did you get your cheese? Like, what happened? So you said you threatened the okay, guy's life. Okay, a bag of cheese. I mean, what, so, did you, what did you do? Yeah. And I'm wrong for this. I'm 100% wrong for this. Uh, uh, but I was just, I was sitting at the hospital all day. You know, I'm taking care of my grandparents. They both have cancer now. It's, oh, it's, man, no I'm one sorry. cares. It's a nightmare. I'm, I'm living a nightmare. Uh and, and this is wrong. I did what well, he's doing to me. I did back to him, and that's close a, to ending. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Right. You will no, wake up soon. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I told no, myself okay, I say okay. anything. Uh, now. So, <laughs> so I had to say it. Sorry. I believe it. Just do it. Um, <laughs> so once there's not just cheese, I have obsessive compulsive disorder. I've been hospitalized in a mental because I, I it, it gets so bad sometimes. It doesn't so, sound like it, but I believe <laughs> it. Car dirty. You're yeah. being smug, and you're getting my car dirty that I obsess over. That's what made me snap a bit. And I told him, I turned back to him, I go, listen, man, I've been polite. If you make me come in there and wait, I am going to do my best to physically hurt you. And then I imagine, I explain the scenario to him, where I have the eagle's peaceful, easy feeling on, as I'm crushing him with my Corolla against the fryer, essentially severing him in half. <laughs> oh, yeah. Screen, but I can't yeah, hear this it. this motherfucker is psycho. So, uh, <laughs> I love a good psycho <laughs> caller. Yeah, I, I knew you would turn psycho. The psych-storian. <laughs> I, 
I know it's Get vicious, it or, you know, but I, I better out than in. That, 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 to dirty my car because I'm. I'm asking for what I ordered. Okay, it's important like, question. Like, important question. Did you, you know? get the Did you get the cheese out? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. I have. Like, I have all the. I I invest in like shark steam ops and uh, extractors and stuff because okay, I'm great. so obsessive about cleaning. By the way, I property, I, so. knew, yeah. I knew I knew he was psycho by the, the amount of times he's called the show. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, anybody, like that. anybody that calls a radio show <laughs> so or, or we'll a podcast will end up crushing. <laughs> A Taco Bell worker with his uh, 23 Corolla against the fryer. I mean, that part was easy to figure out, but you also knew his grandparents were dying, and you had that joke written written way in advance, which is weird. (laughs) Well, we've known for a minute. He's been doing this for a minute. I'm sorry that you're... you're, you're, Yeah, they've been dying. Yeah, I'm sorry you're dealing with all... They're doing all right? They're like... They're no pain? No pain? Oh, no, no, no. It's all okay. it's all pain. The, the, the American health system has collapsed. I mean, though, it is. Tell us more people about people die it. in the ER lobby. Oh, yeah, you've seen uh, people die in the ER lobby? My yeah. God, take their nuts, yeah, oh, and heart attacks. They don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, historian. <laughs> Point is, all I'm saying is the, the opposite of insanity is just patience. But I, I think most people's patience are wearing thin. So I imagine these interactions like this that I am ashamed of will only increase especially with like the political should stuff i flag going on this phone call a lot of apathy well tony's closest to the board apathy. tony write him down on the pedophile cr- chris list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i like uh, all, all, the, <laughs> all the fast food employees are sitting back and they're like well they didn't want us to pay us they didn't want to pay us more and they want everything to go right yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. this is how we'll make it. <laughs> they want it all but i'm still gonna put <laughs> my <laughs> dickhead in the cheese <laughs> i'm still gonna do it they're like well, they, they don't want to pay us they want their cake what were you saying buddy Tom, it is interesting, though. Like, don't you see, in, like, it's obviously very wealthy people that are are the ones that could pay people more but don't. But it, I, I typically see people of lower income status, like, like myself or even lower, treat rich people with, like, automatic respect. Like, they just automatically treat them well. And then the people, like... Well, they're, they're better than us. <laughs> because they're rich. That's how it I, works. But are they if they're not willing to pay or, like... I, I That's how they stay rich. I think yeah. they're worse. <laughs> by not paying. Yeah. You know how society works, historian? The rich are better. Yeah, everything is and held together point, by a series of problems. Like, yeah, That's that how I've always lived my life. I hung up on him because we <laughs> keep moving. Because I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry that happened to you. It sucks when the historian... When the hospice won't get you juice right, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I, f- I feel bad for him. Like I, I don't do. On the side. I used to be, you know me. I used to uh, smart off real bad, and I don't do that much anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't really pop off at the old restaurants anymore. I used to probably do it. Uh, I'm not, a, I'm not uh, proud of it, but, but I used to be a little more outspoken. Do you guys think rich people are better than you? No, I, you don't. No. That I have lived that way and still do my entire life. But I, anybody with more money, I immediately think, well, this guy's better than but I. But I've seen a lot of rich people <laughs> do like a lot of tr- really shitty things. So, no, I know, yeah, right. yeah. But so I always I kind of assume that's the only thing going for me since I'm not rich because I'd like to be rich. The fact that I'm not rich, the really the only thing going for me is that I think I'm actually a pretty decent human. Well, no, no, I'm not talking about like a Epstein or something. Just I'm saying a random person that you don't know but just See, makes more money than that's you. That's what you're like, saying because if it was just how much money, Epstein would be a good guy. <laughs> right. it's, a, it's a range of factors. No, and it is. In my opinion, yes, uh, being rich does make you better. <laughs> that's what. That's how we're I'm not, not all tr- right. We're yeah. not all trying to be poor. We're not all giving <laughs> no, our stuff that's away. Not the game. Like, no. That's not the game. And, and I'm not thinking. And, and but I don't look like that. Like poor people are are less than I am. I just always looked at if you had more money than me, you're better than me. No, I think as a kid <laughs> I used to think that. But then uh, when I started to meet rich people, especially with through the radio station, I think I'm more trained now to think if I meet you and you have money, and we met a couple people last night, and I'm just being real. There were some people that I didn't know that I met that are stinking rich, and I didn't get a good vibe. I I think I'm I think because now I see them and I'm like ooh that guy's cut yep. cutthroat or that but guy's then you meet, uh, but then you meet Tony Hawk and you know he's got super tons rich. of money the, and you know he's a cool guy that he's was a but weird... he's a thousand times better than me <laughs> like, yeah. well, in my scale of who's better right, like right. I look around I'm like better 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 so are you <laughs> constantly is it or is it always microtransactions of like yeah, yeah, better, yeah, better, just, better 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 I thought better, everybody better. thought like that you've got but there's I a think lot, I did as a kid there's a lot of different sliders though you've got Mo Dewitt who has like oh, money. Better than 
money. And use it, yes, obviously. But he has money, but he uses it for stuff like he, he he's always giving money away, putting on uh, comedy shows, yeah, sending yeah. people to Gatorland for free, signing for his email club and stuff like that. And then you got Epstein, his slider, he's all his money to set up a private island to rape people. And so like this that slider, it brings you way down. Like even though he probably has more money than Mo, he's a worse person. Pete you know, is like, rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There but, you go. Yeah, yeah. A lot I, of the other sliders though, way down. I know. I'm not saying it's logical. I'm just saying it's no, that's I know what you mean. <laughs> I mean, in I, my head. I know as a kid, I used to think that. I know as a kid, I used to, in Deland, there was like some old families that had old money, like where they owned city blocks, you know, and you'd go to those kids' houses and like see what they have and their garages would be like, like a, what do you call it? Like a, um, like being in an airplane hangar. And it's like oh, the guy's cars are all there and it's like, oh, this is my dad's Corvette collection. I'm like walking around looking at this and I'd be like, Damn, this is better than my dad. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I'm serious that you would. You would kind of weigh that, and you'd be like, well, why did my dad... I think the way that I thought about it, to go with what you're saying, I would think about it like, well, why did my dad just stop trying? <laughs> Which is kind of a <laughs> shitty thing to say, right? But I think that's what if I thought. If he tried harder, <laughs> right, like, I was hanger. like, this guy is really trying. My dad, he's just fucking off. That's <laughs> 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 true. <laughs> my sons are like, uh, why don't we have as rich as this person? I'm like, I Because I fuck around with your midget <laughs> friend. Uh, <laughs> I obviously failed. <laughs> what else is there? <laughs> that's, a, that's the truth. Anyway. Uh, you know what, Tom? It's internally consistent, and you apply it to yourself. <laughs> it's completely valid. You're, uh, it's a good system. You want to do a couple of voicemails yeah, and get yeah, out of here? Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. we'll just do a couple. Yeah, Tom's going to go home um, and eat dinner, which to him means bumping it against his lips. <laughs> uh, let's do... Uh, let's do... This one right here. Tom, Dan, BDM Mike. Listen to the, all these BDMs calling, saying you need to call the 1095ers. As a 1095er, I think you need to scale it back. They're obviously not listening to you. You're drowning. I think you do every other Friday is just a best of mediocre time, Ooh. three days a week for a corporate time, and then OG shows only for BDMs. Lucky to get it. Love you guys. BDM for life. That's an aggressive stance. The people are clamoring for you guys mm. to take a vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they That's a good sign. Wisconsin. <laughs> They're like, That's when you know you really have got it dialed in, when, you're, when your constituency is like looking at you and they're like, we need less. Listen, I'm more like, rock, less talk. Yeah. Always been the thing. Oh right? man, Super Dave got fired. Really? Allegedly. I shouldn't have said that. Not my business. <laughs> I don't just yeah, told yeah. you. I'm, a, I'm a chatty Kathy. Why did I'm that a pop into your head? I'm a chatty Kathy. <laughs> why did that pop into your head at the end of the show for no reason? <laughs> Things pop into my head all the time. Like you just said, why'd that pop into your head? And I just said, better ingredients, better pizza. That's what I was thinking <laughs> when you well, said that. Well, things oh, pop into Dog the Bounty Hunter's head all the time. And no, he's they like, don't. Hey, there's <laughs> nothing popping in there. <laughs> that and is, like, there's nothing. Uh, I shouldn't say that again. So he holds his tongue. I like to give our listeners the tea, and I like that guy. There's nobody in this city that's more rock than that guy. So if he's gone, uh, that's not good. Listen, you still got um, 104.1 HC3, the pirate. Uh, the, but the AC2, that hip hop station they got, is not bad too. Not bad. Personal favorite right now. Uh, I'm listening to a lot of XL HD2, which is Pride Radio. Okay. And if you just imagine, like, the just all gay bangers, it is a big gay party 24 hours a day. Right. It is amazing. Big gay bangers. <laughs> Hey, uh, can't you just search like play gay music and Spotify and then uh, all the every day I do. I'm in my Subaru. It's right there on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh And then also, sir, where are we going to put the commercials? <laughs> we need the commercials. Yeah, we do. I mean, uh, a lot yeah. of people don't understand that this is a business, and they do think we're just fucking around. It's yeah, surprising yeah. that there's no commercials on the pirate. It's like people don't even <laughs> advertise. Yeah, on that it's almost as if no one's listening to. It. <laughs> yeah, there's no money to be made. And it's completely <laughs> computer programmed. It's just, it's just me and the AI. It's literally just you <laughs> and a computer <laughs> driving around Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> Ross and his personal pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you don't hear commercials on a show, you have to start asking yourself, like, what is happening here? Like, do you want me to end with this? this? Do you want me to end with this? No, come on. I was hoping that you forgot about it. Do you think I could do this? Daniel's do you think like, I, I want to pee in this bag. Well, yeah, okay. I want to so, know what that is. Okay, so Maisie and Andrea will end with this. This is the last thing for the Friday. Maisie and Andrea bought me these at Costco. They went to Costco and they came back. They're like, we got something. We got something for you. We got something for you. This is better than your fun spot pee jug that you pee in because you like to drink beers when you're driving places. And they bought me these 
Ujmi disposable personal urinal bags. I need that. And it also works for girls. You can um you can fold you can bump the, the lips. You yeah, you can bump the lips in there. You can just <laughs> Like a do it like that. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Amazing. Then, Tom, Mr. Skanky, and the fucking piss bucket. All <laughs> the exact same method of being It's Mr. Skanky. <laughs> but you open this up, you open it up, and you can put your dick and balls in here. Uh huh. And you pee, and there's a gel pouch in there that turns this into, and then you can use it as a, uh, then you can use it to, uh, you know, keep your boat from hitting against a dock. What, it's the same shit that, like, a magician would use yes. in a newspaper funnel? Yeah, yeah. This is a newspaper uh -huh. funnel. Watch you make my piss disappear. You pee in it. <laughs> I want. I told Andrew I want to pee in it and then fling it out the sunroof. See, I thought this was just. I thought this was like the shit in the box where you send it off for analysis. But this is just for like comfort. Do you sake. want some? I have to pee right do you, now. Do you want to so, try it? Can I try it? Yeah. No, do you no, want to do on. it? We're not. Uh, do it. Make him doing couple. some Baba Booey. Yeah, we're Baba Booey. No. Yeah, we're booing. No. Uh, hey, make the puppet describe. Hold on. Hold on. Hot, wet bitches. <laughs> All right. Hey now. Yeah, so let's is this do it. supposed to be in your car and like the glove box as, as yeah, emergencies? Yeah. It's got yeah. directions. Tom. You just put a couple in there. You slip one in your purse. You put one in your pocket. Maybe Tony's out skating. He's got six pictures. He's here. got a hard skate session. I'm describing you what you can use it for. Yeah, walk us through it, Tony. Uh, one of it says emergency, which. Uh, yeah, but I emergency think, in a car. If you're outside, you could just pee in the bushes. I think you know what I think it would be completely okay if I walked down to Maisie's school to pick her up, and while we're standing there waiting for her to pick it up, if I just slip the pouch down into my pants. As long as nobody sees anything. As long as nobody sees anything, and I'm just peeing into it, that I just pull it out of my pants. I don't think there's any problem with that. <laughs> or it's a little unconventional, <laughs> but I don't see a problem with that. How about this? That show we just went to, the floor of that baby metal show, there was thousands of people packed into like a couple hundred square feet of room, and if you get in I there, you fill it up, you're though. not getting out again. And if you get out to go pee, you're not getting back in. So I bet if you, you I could fill it up. Or you could even be in there, say, waiting for baby metal and be like, oh my God, I'm having an emergency. I better get my piss pouch. I have a. I, <laughs> you're but see, I do thing? big pisses, dude. <laughs> and then what do you yeah. do every with Every one the gel? of my pisses. Every one of my pisses. Every single one of them. What? 24 ounces. Every single one. <laughs> It seems like you can just throw it away. Like you find a trash can and yeah, you throw it away. But in the scenario I described, where like you're gonna see if humanity, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> you just you drop just... it on the ground. <laughs> so it says uh, yeah. emergency travel. It ends camping, up in the circle pit. Sickness, hiking, and the last one is pregnant. Yeah, yeah. All right. Should I try it? Or you don't want to be a part of that, right? So the hiking thing, they did say, uh, like when we did that. Maybe uh, you're waiting in the for desert. your uh, cantata chicken bowl and it's taking too long. You piss in your bag. They, they, they were like, don't pee on the uh, the desert fungus uh, that grows out, you know, whatever, because it's right. uh, it takes 100 years to grow back or whatever. Why do we need it? It's desert. And it's fungus. <laughs> because it's the plants fungus. need it to live. And, uh, it's whole thing. No, they don't. It's like organic crust that the desert uses. And you can't, and you can pee it away. <laughs> no, you're, just, you're not uh, supposed to disturb it. I think that's all bullshit. Um, One but, little squirt of pee is going to wash away all the fucking fungus for the year. But I think you could pee on rocks and things that, uh, as long as it's not the desert crust. And then the other, how do you know other hikes, crust? Like if you're is designated peeing areas. It, 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 you could pee in the on trails. You can't poop. They don't want you to poop there. But peeing, well, where they did don't, you poop? They have to poop mean, in a bag. That's not a pooping bag. That's well, a peeing I mean, bag. And not until you try it. I mean, I well, asked Andrew sure if I, I could poop into an Andrew's. Mine are too long. Well, you poop into the. <laughs> you poop on the floor. I mean, I do. You, I got like. It'll like, soft serve up in there. <laughs> no, no, mine don't break. They're very. They're, they don't break. Uh, it's like Pantene Pro V. The you, strength of no, my hair. Don't put yourself down, Nate. If you want, if you had to, you could poop in a cone in a spiral and make it like cone off. I think I could. Yeah, I think I could. <laughs> I, I've never pooped into a bag holding it against my anus. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I, all right. We love you, here, Tom. Everybody <laughs> clap for him. That's a big admission. Anybody, a big, I, I, we love you, Tom. I pooped in the woods before, okay. but I never held something against my butt and pooped in it. But I know people that have. Oh, okay. It does say, it does say for uh, for liquid uh, liquid waste for liquid, only. Liquid yeah. pussy. But it also <laughs> says, do not swallow the absorbent. Yeah. Yeah, because some people like to pee in the bag, and they're like, oh, right. snow cow. <laughs> 
Well, uh, we're not peeing in that during the show. Okay. Right. <laughs> no one put, wants that. Put his foot I, down. No one thinks that's entertaining. You guys heard that, Mr. Fun? Put his foot down. <laughs> Do you want him to just jack off in it? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I heard. I mean, what is it? No, this is not a. That's <laughs> what I heard. And I see a boner. <laughs> is that a God, Ross, you're quick. Nineties terrestrial radio, <laughs> or like pee in a bag or a diaper, used to be like, oh my God, they're doing it. Like you could do anything you want on. I mean, podcast. they're all saying it. We want it, Tom. They don't want it. Yeah. Four right. guys, internet. Piss back. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Poor guy. Oh, Get her dead. Piss back. There's nothing song entertaining about, that. about it. I'm writing a song about that. We'll do it the, next week. The, the, no. I have to just, we got to do a circle piss. We got to all piss circle in it. I don't want that. No, we got to all piss in it and overflow circle it. Piss. <laughs> No, no one wants to what hear that. What if we that? all piss in it and then we combine into one crazy piss baby? No, if everybody no. in the chat room types all caps, circle piss, circle piss, circle piss, no. we will do it. Baby metal we'll has here. circle pits. Yeah. Tom and Dan, we right. have circle, circle pits. pits. No, no, no one wants circle that. No, no, just, you guys have been hanging out going to bring too much. <laughs> We've together. had too much bro time. <laughs> <laughs> We're crazy. Yeah, yeah. They, they just want we, They want to recap last night's Thursday night before. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and they just want, you know, some uh, uh, some stories. We really testosteroned up watching Scene Queen with her anti-male boner cutting off yeah. uh, message. We really testosteroned up. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's All plug right. some stuff and get out of here. Where are you going to be at, Ross? Uh, the Orlando Talk Show with me, Ross McCoy. Uh, check that out on any podcast apps of your favorite choosings. Uh, see me at the Bullen Bush first and third Saturdays uh, for Shit Sandwich. And uh, we also do Open Mic on Wednesdays. Uh, Tony, where can people uh, hire you if they want some uh, pictures? Yeah, you can go to uh, uh, moanjetphoto.com. Uh, you can go actually to Instagram as well, at moanjetphoto. Uh, I have an improv show on December 14th. Oh, is it going to be like Christmas themed? Uh, no, it's actually going to be a big one. It's going to be our number 50. Okay. Uh, and the, the name of my group is I Am 50 Million. So I want to go like, to this because I told you the um, la- the next time you have one roll around, I want to make yep. it out to so support it you. So it's uh, uh, December 14th at the uh, Winter Springs Performing Center, uh, also known as The Stage. Very cool. See, I'm going to sit there with horrible anxiety the whole time. Like, oh, my God, Tony's not going to know what to do. <laughs> no, because we didn't talk about that from last night, like about the Tony uh, Tony Hawk thing. You thought that. <laughs> I prepared uh, my thunder. He convinced himself. I'll tell you that in confidence. Okay. I will tell you. I will I'm telling you. a friend that amongst friends. <laughs> I, 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 but you were telling well, me and Tony, me and Tony <laughs> legitimately thought you were insane for saying that. No, I just, when I was driving, I, I think to myself, I was like, what if I'm sitting there at the talk and then Grant Britton- They or put so, a spotlight right on no, you. No, because they, they did say they're doing Q&A from the audience, and I was like, what if- But they if? don't force you to do that. I just want to <laughs> yeah, let yeah. you know. Sometimes they do. No, they sometimes, don't. No, they don't. That's not no, a yes, it that's is. never been. No. You it created is. that in your no, brain. No, I- because That's an irrational fear, Tom. The amount of times I've been in an event and a butler comes up and Asking on the shoulder and says, "Sir, it's time for your question. Here's your microphone." No, this is an irrational fear, like flying. No, no, it okay, is. no, no. Sometimes during Q and A's, the the moderator doesn't have the, like the audience doesn't have any questions, <laughs> but they think they do. They think a bunch of people are going to raise their hands. So keep your hand down, dumbass. <laughs> no, no, yeah, but You're no, like, but fuck, it's going up. No, it's not like an auction <laughs> yeah. where like if you flinch, suddenly you have to answer a question. Yeah, you know, like, like yeah. you scratch your nose. They're like, yeah. yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes no one raises their hand, and the moderator freaks out. Out, and then they look around and they're like, You, do you have a question? No. Listen, that's, 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 I, not, that's not a thing. I hosted, that, I hosted that Channel 5 fucking thing, and there never was a moderator in more need of a question. I didn't look to the fucking audience. Like Those this. savages know. Well, I did this one time. <laughs> Adrian Heath. Goddamn. So he, he did this. So I ran so out of wow. questions. I was like, Who's got questions? No one said shit. And I was like, You, the tall guy. And then it was like, Oh, <laughs> he was like, Oh shit! They didn't tell me they were gonna force me to ask a question. And then he made so up you some invented shit. your own thing, your own nightmare. You invented your own nightmare. Wow! Yeah, it's like you said you were afraid of Pinhead, but you are Pinhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, yeah. And then I was afraid. I I'm fucking like, crying. Freddy Krueger's having nightmares. And then so. I thought Grant Britton. What if he just looked us up one time, or he posed? He knew it was me, and he's like, "Oh, Tom, that radio guy. He must know a question." And then, and then they go. So he so told I had to me, prepare like, a question. He, 
I'm freaking out on the ride over here because what if Grand Britain asked me a question? I'm like, why the fuck would Grand Britain ask <laughs> <laughs> No, you just in case. Nobody no, gives a fuck no, about it. No, the moderator. No, nobody gives a fuck about it. So, so obviously. He freaks out. He's freaking out because he didn't have any questions. So, obviously, you're driving with anxiety about this. Did you come no, up no, with a question? No, 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 yes, I mean, yes, he did. Grand, he told me, did you prefer your question? I'm like, I'm not, I, I'll just tell him I don't have one. Grant, did you ever Thank play you. Tony Hawk Pro Skater? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I was going to ask Tony. I was like, "Does your do you think your grandson will be able to play guitar or, or be a better guitar player or a better skater? See, he did think about this. That's a good question. That's a good because question. Because his, uh, his grandson That's is goddamn question. Kurt Cobain's grandson. Yeah. So they got the genes of the skater, guitar player, and then everybody would probably laugh. No, but you know what's really going to happen? And I feel uh, bad for this. But then I thought it's going to be a neither scenario. That's going to be a dud. What if Tony Hawk's like, don't ever talk about my fucking grandson? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that scenario too. And then I backed myself out of the car. Hold on a second. He starts taking his shirt off. He's like, I'm going to beat this motherfucker up for talking about my grandson. Who wants to see Grandpa Hawk whip this motherfucker's ass? And then they Give me a hell yeah. He becomes so cold all of a sudden. <laughs> you know That's what, what is always about. good in a live Q&A is a question that like three quarters of the audience is going to have to have explained to them. That's <laughs> yeah. always good. This or, does, though, explain. I only care what Tony Hawk thinks. Oh, my God. I, That's this funny. does explain uh, last week week we were doing some a corporate times and we were interviewing a famous musician and i asked him a question and he said that's a great question ross and you did something i've never seen happen in a live interview ever before you broke in and said oh excuse me no it's not <laughs> you, you explained like why that. despite both of us being in agreement i had not asked a good question it was well, pretty good go to go listen to last week's act i'm not sure exactly where you'll find it well he said that was a great question and i questioned whether it was or and not then, yeah, yeah, you asked sure him what did. his favorite song no, was. you didn't even question you insisted <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. And then, and well, then he, because I know both of them pretty well, I was like, which one was better? <laughs> <laughs> because I have to play my role, which is to sit back and uh -huh. stare at it uh -huh. like I did at Hard Rock. Exactly. I, I just wanted to point out that he may have just said that <laughs> as a nicety, and it wasn't actually. They were the, both great questions, actually. You guys did a good job <laughs> on that. Go back and listen to that, because I realize uh, now that because election night, very few people probably heard us talk to Daryl Hall of Hall & Notes. So also. go back and give that some love. I, I mean, it was that's probably one of the biggest people we've ever talked to uh, in the world. Also, Monday night, a Ram Daisy segment that made me yes, laugh that's after a funny the one. fact uh, got preempted by Monday Night Football. So it's all in the one. best of. It's, <laughs> I, I put that in the best. Uh, and yeah, we it's also, all in the Howard podcast. Jones. Howard Jones. Here's yeah. something we're going to start doing, and you heard it here first. Howard Jones, because <laughs> he is an older man that's always been involved in technology, uh, his publicist is like, he only does interviews on Zoom audio. That's it. He doesn't do the video, just Zoom audio. And the audio quality is unbelievably good. I don't know why we don't just do that. Why don't we just, like, why are we even using phones? Just do the audio. It's fine. And the delay is, there's not as much as a, of a delay on the audio only, for some reason. I don't know. It, it, it is uh, odd <laughs> that uh, we haven't adopted just uh, the digital phone call more because, the uh, you know, we get a Felipe Esparza um, garbled phone mess when someone's on a regular landline with a speakerphone on. Anyway. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here. Love you both. Thanks for being here. It's really fun. And uh, again, Soph and Suds, the free beer fest. Uh, we'll be uh, dressed like a cowboy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Are yeah. you really going to do yeah, it? I a, well, I have, to buy, I have to buy some sort of Western wear. Get the wear. foamy. You're the no, big foamy. No, hat. I'll wear a foamy cowboy hat. Wear the leather foamy. harness and boots. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. Chaps. That'd be good. Uh, all right, we'll see you on Monday.